All right, what's up everyone? OJ here from Player Essence. Welcome to the, uh, we have a live stream. We're starting out um, the live stream for the Super Mario Maker 2 Direct, uh, but it does not start until 3 p.m. PT, 6 p.m. Uh, ET, okay? And that is literally in the title. For those who are asking, when does it start? When does this Nintendo Direct start? When does this, it literally says in the title of the stream, when the Direct starts. Super Mario, <laughs> it says it right there. So I don't know what else, I can't, I can't help you guys any more than that. Um, we're going to do a pre-stream where we talk about the different stuff, where you guys get to give your ideas, your thoughts, your comments on that. So for people asking, why is this up so early? Well, it's because I actually give a damn about you guys, and I want to make sure that I get you guys' opinions before this stream starts so we can talk about it. I mean, that's that's the reason why I do this every single time. I've even seen people who come here on pre-streams before and ask the same question every single time they come to the pre-stream <laughs> when we do these. So guys, I'm here because I want to talk to you guys. We're going to talk about, like I said, 3 p.m. PT, that is 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can simply use Google. I don't know where all of you guys individually live. So for those who are asking, well, what time is it where I live? Simply just open up Google and Google will be able to tell you. All you got to do is convert the time. It's very simple. It's a very simple process. You can use technology and it works. It works very, very well, actually. Um, I use it all the time. Back when I used to um, not know what time it was in Sweden. Um, or you can use a smartphone. A lot of smartphones have uh, different time zones, like clocks that you can put and you can see what time it is anywhere. So it's very easy to learn what time something starts or what it starts in your area. If you're not in the uh, PT, so Pacific time, or if you're not in Eastern time zone, so if you're, you're in Central or if you're overseas, uh, it's very simple, guys. Use Google. Trust me. It'll be a life changer for you guys who keep on asking every single time, what time is it in my area? Or, what, what, you know, what's going on here? Trust me. It's easy. Very simple. Okay, guys? Um, all right. So let's see here. Let's continue on here. We're going to go say hi to everybody here. So if you're in the chat, you want me to say hi to you. I see a lot of new people here. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. Just be mindful of the rules. No self-promotion uh, and uh, no being a douchebag um, and uh, no other silly other stuff when it comes to the chat. No attacking people, stuff like that. Normal chat rules, guys. Um, and like I said, we will get to all of you guys' thoughts. So if you want me to say hi to you, feel free to say hi. And I will say hi to all 150 people in here. And we're probably going to get more throughout the um, throughout the, the day. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, Swedes, uh, Sweden can travel through uh, dimension. So the time is no problem. Let's go, dude. Um, let's see. <laughs> Count the timer would stop people asking. Or more like if people can literally just look at the title of the stream and know what a time zone is. So I'm not going to do a countdown timer. I don't need to do a countdown timer. You can simply look at the stream and say, oh, 3 p.m.? Okay, it's 3 p.m. No problem. I know what it's going to be, you know, in my time. Like, for example, when something's in Eastern time and it's not in my time zone because I live in the West Coast, I live in California, right? So sometimes there's just stuff that's Eastern time. I don't need a countdown timer. I just know that I'm three hours behind, you know? So simply using the internet instead of having everything laid out for you, every, I mean, that would be a lot easier, you know, and, and it actually teach people to know time zones because the fact that people still don't know time zones and we have the internet is ridiculous so i'm trying to help you guys you know and not do everything for you when it comes to it. it's good to know time zones trust me you're gonna have to use it in your life trust me um let's see here um <laughs> what's up j2 blue what, what's good man um alonzo vines what's up man how's it going big bailey yo shout out to big bailey g5 what's good guys kaido j seen a lot of the regulars coming through here what's up trent williams how's it going my boy stop spamming though um let's see here fury tiger what's up elite ninja fury tiger bio wolf what's up bio wolf good to see you here lizzie's here hunter n64 lag games what's up jalen pipes what's up focus on me karen buckley dragonite 23x productions um yeah, that's, so I think that was D-Miz Mob. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. How about this? How about you get a countdown timer and you let people know what time it is and you keep on letting people know what time it is. Look, it's 3 p.m. PT, 6 p.m. Eastern time. It's a very simple thing. It would take, it was very simple. And even if I did have a countdown timer, people would still ask. You know why I know this? Is because there's times where people, I would have like, literally telling people on the screen what time something starts. And they live here. They, they live in the U.S. and they'll ask, what time is does this start even though i have it plastered across the screen so i don't even think a countdown timer would even people would still ask that same question so so yeah man um anyway uh fairy tiger with the five dollar donation it says shout outs to plus nine hours boys um and the rest of you ninjas all right yeah man shout outs to fairy tiger thank you so much i appreciate that I do appreciate the five dollar donation. Uh, that does make you the top stream ninja as we get started here. So keep on saying hi, guys, and I'll keep on saying hi to everybody as I put Fury Tiger in here. Thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate that. Um, and you're also, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see here. What's up, Alucard? How's it going? Star Mix, Gabecom. What's up, Gabecom? Been a while since I've seen you here. The Flaming Xbox. What's up, man? How's it going? 
Um, let's see here. DJ, what's up, DJ? Uh, is it Ja? DJ Jaza. DJ Jaza, what's up? Tarek Yasin, what's good, man? Anthony Rudd, what's up? Loki G, what's good? Uh, Re Rez Rezin Rezinun? Rezinun? I can't say that name. Either, either way, shout outs. Big, big R. <laughs> Hunter, once again. Na uh, Nation Harris, what's good, man? Cyber Jack. What's up, Cyber Jack? Ray Cook, what's up, Ray Cook? Good to see you here, bro. Good to see you here. I am not human. What's up, guys? Thanks for, th thanks for following through. I appreciate that. The Cheese Whiz Gamer. Um, John B is here. What's up, John B? David Potts, Digital or Aurea. What's up, man? Ozette, what's good, man? Um, Ozette, we'll talk about that in just a bit. And I have a video tomorrow about the whole Switch Pass and the PS4 thing. So we'll talk about that in just a bit. Uh, Jay Nez, what's good? Uh, <laughs> Jay Nez, what's good? The Rev, what's up? Uh, Princess Lavinity, what's up? How's it going? KJ2399, Bowsette. Yo, everybody's here. Robert. <laughs> Robert says, if it wasn't uh, plus nine years for you. Oh, bro. Fury Tiger. Or, sorry, uh, Robert out here roasting again. Again. Again, I tell you. Uh, who did I miss? Did I miss anybody? If I haven't said your name, please feel free to say hi so I can give you guys your respect. Give you the respect in the stream. Put some respect on my on the PE Ninja out here. All right. Fury Tiger with the $5 donation. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Let's see here. Um, Karen Buckley, what's up? Phantom, uh, is it Lord? Phantom Lord, what's up? Rain Tri, uh, Tri A, but what's up, man? Go Fortnite, what's up, bro? Party man, shout out to Elite Ninja Party man, the bodyguard. What's good? Um, Tarek yeah, uh, Yasin, what's up? I'm looking good. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I had a pretty, pretty good day in the gym today, guys. I was feeling exquisite because I actually went to sleep by like 10:30 to 11 last night. And I woke up by like 6 a.m. Haven't felt as refreshed in a while. Went, to, I was drinking all water. I'm gonna kind of slow down on the iced teas a little bit. Um, drinking all water last night and today. Went to the gym, did solid hour of cardio, really good, and lifted weights for 30 minutes. Feeling really good, man. Feeling really, really good. Feeling really good. So, so thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Rodriguez life. What's good, man? How's it going? <laughs> How's it going, bro? Uh, Danky King. What's up, man? Um, Hey, no problem, no problem, thank you, King. Hey, you don't ever have to feel pressured, you know, to donate or nothing. I appreciate you being here, and I know it's tough with the time zone since you're in Europe, thank you, King. But I appreciate the support, bro, and I'm glad that you can make it out to the stream. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see here. Uh, Mage from Twitter, what's up, man? How's it going? Stop trying to sit here and act like that bowl cut boy was good looking, Mage from Twitter. Come on now. You know you know that haircut is, is garbage, and you know they just announced actual Sasuke today in, in Fire Emblem. They announced the real Sasuke. <laughs> um all right uh lenny phase what's good man how's it going what's up focus on me um but big mo what's up big mo good to see you here dude paint fat purple what's up man jump monsters i got class at 6 p.m is that et then you're gonna be then you're gonna miss the you're gonna miss the uh the super mario maker nintendo direct jump on um let's see here uh let's see how much time i'm not answering gg gg i'm not answering any questions bro the time is it's up where it's at you can look at the clock and you can see when the nintendo direct uh, super mario maker 2 direct starts so i'm not answering your question simply look at the time it's in the title okay and convert that to wherever you live because no just just do it yourself stop being lazy stop being lazy uh aka ruben what's up man how's it going um all right um <laughs> Uh, let's see poison what's up poison it's not that i don't want to say hi to you it's just that we have 196 people in here or something like that uh gunslinger what's up man how's it going uh hold on to hold on to questions phantom lord i'm not done uh talking to everybody here uh let's see here g5 was good um dank meme what's up dank meme yeah, guys, I'm not I'm not answering any questions on that. I mean, if you guys want to sit there and constantly, you know, answer people's questions on one at time, it starts because they're lazy and they don't want to simply know what time zones are. Like, it's a very simple thing. They don't want to use modern technology to their advantage. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like somebody asking what time does something start? And they got a phone right in front of them. Literally, this you everybody, nearly everybody here has a smartphone or a PC. Obviously, you wouldn't be here if you didn't have one. You can literally open up another tab on any device that you're on and just look at what time it starts and in your t it'll even convert it for you google will even convert what is 3 p.m and because it knows where you live because it takes your data you know what i'm saying and it'll even convert it for your time where you live you know what i'm saying like it'll, it'll do it, it'll take you guys literally a minute it's so easy uh, <laughs> uh, GG, uh no technology here dude no technology here then how are you here in this chat um if that's the case um if, if that's the case, how are you here 
What uh, Christopher says, uh, what time is the direct? The direct is at 3 p.m. PT, like it says in the title. 3 p.m. PT, 6 p.m. Eastern time, sir. Um... Um, so yeah, that's it. Let's see here. All right. So I think, uh, Gromsky, what's up, Gromsky? How's it going, man? Good to see you here. Uh, shout out, shout outs. Yo, Pro Jakin, what's up, man? Welcome back to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Welcome back to the Elite. And of course, uh, you know all about all the benefits and everything and, uh, the community page. Just go on there, get back into the Discord. And of course, your emotes, those have been restored to you as well. So shout outs, man. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate that. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel once again. Um, all right. Also, shout outs to shout outs to MSIMTV and also Cyberjack. We got a Twitch follow. Thank you so much for joining the Fire Nation and also Cyberjack. Uh, thank you for subscribing to the Elite Ninja Village Player Essence. Appreciate that. Um, do appreciate that. <clears throat> um, uh, also, I think that's I think that's it for that. Okay, so let's see here. Um, what's up, Kitsune? How's it going? Sokar, what's up? What's up? Uh, okay, abandoned by God. Shout outs, man. Thank you so much for joining the Ninja Village. Appreciate that. Welcome, 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 my boy. Um, so let's see here. All right, guys. Let me ask you guys some questions. I think I pretty much got everybody. If I didn't get you, that's fine. I'll keep um I'll keep us uh, giving you guys shout outs um as we go along here. What's up, David Balfour? How's it going? Um, VC, that's because all you all you do is play Super Smash Brothers and cheat. That's how you're getting uh 4.7 million GSP. Nah, I'm just joking. What's up, Mav Intensifies? How's it going, my man? Good to see you here. Um, <clears throat> good to see you here as well. Um, all right, guys, uh, let's talk a little bit about some Switch news, shall we? So once again, uh, the, the Super Mario Maker 2 Nintendo Direct, that is starting up at 3 p.m. PT, 6 p.m. Eastern time. So uh, in a little bit about an hour, a little bit less than an hour and a half from now, we will be starting up. So look forward to that. Um, all right, so we got some news here. Nintendo Switch has officially passed the PlayStation 4 in Japan when it comes to sales. So uh, not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, Famitsu, I actually talked about this a little bit ago, but we weren't using the Famitsu sales numbers. We were using, um, I think it was Dengeki, and Dengeki was off. Obviously, Dengeki was off. So, um, so yeah, there you go. Um, so let me go ahead and give you guys the actual sales numbers on everything. Um, just to let you guys know, the PlayStation 4 launched in February of 2014, and the Switch launched in February, or sorry, March of 2017. So about three years head start. You know, for the uh, for the PS4, be it the Switch still outsold it, which is fine. It's not a big deal, like I said. But I, well, it is a big deal in certain ways. But the PS4 is still doing really well worldwide. Overall, PS4 and Switch are doing really well, so that's good. Uh, Onaga, Onaga, what's up, man? How you doing today? Mav intensifies once again. What's up, dude? Um, so yeah, right now the Switch is at. Uh, let me go ahead and give you guys the. I got, I got a video on this tomorrow too, so make sure you guys, the people that are new in here and you guys are subscribing, make sure you guys check out my video. Uh, 6 a.m. PT, 9 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, we have edited uh, edited videos for you guys on various different uh, Switch news topics or um, or other types of things. So make sure you guys check out those videos every single day in the morning um, or in the afternoon if you live somewhere else farther away. Um, all right, here. So let me go ahead and move over to the reaction. Um, all right, so basically, this is the uh, shout out to Gamatsu, by the way. Um, by the way, this is our co our comment policy here in the chat is the same. All right, this is the same exact comment policy, uh, but except for read the full article. But stay on topic, no drive by comments, no when to comment, no offensive comments, no port begging, no console wars. You sp or well, don't do spoilers and be respectful towards other. All that stuff is the same that we got here. All right, keep that in mind, guys. All right, now moving on. Um, if you look at right here. Um, this is the software sales for this is just Japan, okay, guys, and this is not digital sales, but we're really talking about right here, and that is um, the switch. It's at what uh, eight million one hundred and twenty-five thousand six hundred and thirty-seven units, while the PS4 is at six, or it's actually at. Let me go go back up here. It's actually at eight million seventy-seven thousand seven hundred fifty-six units. The reason why you see it different here is because they separate the lifetime sales of the PlayStation Four Pro from the or from the PlayStation 4, from the PlayStation 4 Pro. So you can see that the PlayStation 4 Pro has sold 1,159,683 units, 
while the regular base PlayStation in Japan has sold 6 million, uh, 6 million 918,073 units. So there you go. Uh, Switch is above it there. If you look at the top 10 software, pretty much all Switch except for Days Gone. Days Gone was the, the top, another top selling with another 45,000 plus units for 160,000, which is not bad. Um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the top selling game in Japan for this generation or this new 8th generation and up, whatever you consider Switch. 8th or ninth generation i don't really know either way i'd consider it ninth generation i i don't i don't know what generation switch is in either way whatever um super smash brothers ultimate is officially the best-selling title in japan this generation um and up so it's outsold um every other game so like final fantasy 15 monster hunter world um dragon quest splatoon 2 it's the best-selling retail title there uh we don't have digital sales but i'm guessing digital sales are still just as strong except for like splatoon 2 splatoon 2 might have more than it. I mean, because if you look at the, the physical sales here, yeah, it's pretty close. And I think Splatoon 2 might have sold more digital. So I think overall, Splatoon 2 might have sold more in Japan. But when it comes to retail sales, uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the best-selling game in Japan um, for this generation and up. So not bad there. All right. So let's see here. <clears throat> let's see. I, I like how Spawncast just has the same set of rules. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, dude, it's actually a really good rule set. Uh, they actually they, they removed a couple different things, though. They removed, obviously read the full article. Like, they didn't have that. There's a couple things that they tweaked uh, when it comes to, like, the spoiler tag and things like that. But, yeah, it's actually a really good um, comment policy. And it's it's from years of research, as Salem would say. Because Gamatsu's been having issues with all of that stuff for years now so sal did a good job of putting together that comment policy it's very clear uh and it's easy to follow so it's very easy and and it makes sense you know and it makes sense um okay hold up uh don't 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 ban him dank meme if he's spamming stuff like that uh don't ban him just um i'm gonna unhide him the cheese whiz gamer just just time him out because he's spamming um the cheese whiz gamer slow your roll bro like what's going on if you want to talk to me about something, let's let's get into some Super Mario Maker. You guys want to give me your thoughts on pred I think he really wants me to talk about this whole thing. So if you want me to talk about what you're looking forward to for Super Mario Maker, let me get into this so you can so people aren't getting timed out and stuff like that. Yeah, he keeps he, he keeps on spamming. I'm gonna un, I'm gonna unhide him, but just tag me at Player Essence hashtag Player Essence. And if you guys have something that you guys want in Super Mario Maker, let me know and I will give you some attention, bro. Calm down, just relax. All right. Um, you won't stop me from port begging. I won't stop you from port begging. Yeah, uh, elite ninja, y'all can port beg if you want to, but don't don't be mad if I if I roast you for port begging though. <laughs> y'all out the port beg, but don't be mad if you get roasted for port begging. Um, you can type at player essence. You can type hashtag player essence, or you can type player essence capital P capital E. If you spell it wrong, it won't highlight, and I might not read off your comments. So don't get mad at me if you spell it wrong. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, I'd like to see Super Mario Maker 2 option in the game. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, this is why I can't have a, a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, Double D, I know. It's tough. It's tough at times. But at the same time, it doesn't matter what, what uh, profession you do. There's always going to be stuff that you got to deal with that's not fun. It, I mean, you heck, you can be an NFL player. You know, you can be an NFL quarterback making $20 million a year, and there's still stuff that kind of sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you still are going to cut your life short through the blows to the head. You know, you're still, I mean, you're still going to be hurting because people are tackling you. All. I mean, there's always something with every possession. I mean, every uh, profession, it doesn't matter what it is. You know, the music industry is trash, too. So, I mean, you can be Eminem or whatever the case is, and you can still have a bunch of garbage. Or you can be J. Cole or whatever it is. You know, there's, there's, there's garbage in every industry, you know, every profession um so yeah um i want super make super mario maker 2 assets in mario maker 2 okay super mario maker 2 assets in mario maker 2 what is, what is that oh the original super, okay so super mario or su sorry super mario 2 also oh, the, the the mario game that's not a real mario game that one doki doki panic mario game uh two is the, the better uh they better include super mario maker 1 on the mario maker 2 game or i don't buy it what you so you want two games for the price of one <laughs> Uh, do you think we'll still have the mushroom that turned into um, other Nintendo characters? I think it's possible. Yeah, um, uh, you're heading out. All right, thank you for thank you for coming out, Phantom Lord. Appreciate it. Take it easy, bro. Um, let's see here. Sean Diamond shout is Sean Diamond here? Shout out to Sean Diamond. Yo, shout outs, man. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream. Appreciate that. Uh, Salim Alibri, what's up? What's up, man? Thank you so much for the subscription. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player X. Everybody, please welcome. Salim, 
excuse me um let's see here uh what do you think will be added i don't know mario stuff <laughs> said dude's bugging yeah man um uh let's see here uh thank god streamlabs bot came up i was confused about what elite ninja membership you're confused about the elite ninja membership uh yeah this is the elite village of player essence you know what i'm saying when you subscribe but then there's elite ninja you know what i'm saying that also do that yo etika loves minecraft what's up man how's it going um let's see here uh <laughs> uh i see i i see what you're saying will call i see what you're saying homie um jay jay Nez says the direct will be bad if uh, if i don't see animal crossing it will be horrible i mean especially since this is a super mario maker 2 nintendo direct or Super Mario Maker 2 Direct, the fact that we're not getting Astral Chain, I'll also be mad if Astral Chain's not here, because I'm pretty sure that this is a Super Mario Maker 2 D Direct. So therefore, Astral Chain must be there, you know? Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, why, why are you leaving, VC? I don't get it. What do you mean? You got a dip? Why do you got a dip? Um... You know, um, you know how they did all those sprites for Amiibo? Maybe they revealed 3D models for them as well. That'd be a lot of work, though, so maybe not. Yeah, it might be tough. Uh, do you think Nintendo will announce 3D Super Mario Maker 3D Super Mario Maker 64? What the hell? No. This is Super Mario... This is... Wait, like, announce it at this Direct? At this Super Mario Maker 2 Direct? Probably not. I don't think they're going to make a 3D Mario Maker. I mean, they might one of these days, but I don't know about anytime soon. Um... We're going to be doing the live stream for the Direct right here, my man. Um, if you want to watch it, like the Direct from where Nintendo has it or their Direct YouTube channel, you can use the power of Google to help you, my boy. Uh, three, pick Joshua. I mean, like, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand people that are, like, what type of question is that? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand this. Um, let's see. <laughs> I, don't, I, really don't get, I really don't get this. I don't, I don't understand questions like this. Um... <laughs> Ricardo Graphics, what's up, man? How's it going? Um, Sokar says, players says Switch Mini plus Mario Maker 2 bundle. Well, Switch, I don't think they're going to announce any hardware at this. Um, I think the only hardware that they're going to announce is like uh, like a Joy-Cons. Maybe like a red and green Joy-Con for like Mario and Luigi. I think that's. I, th I think if they're going to announce hardware, that's what it's going to be. I don't know if there's going to be a Switch Mini at this one here, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be a Switch Mini at this one here. Let's see here. I, I just, I don't, I, I, exact, I don't understand this type of question, as if we've never had directs before, as if there's not, if it's not in the title, as if you can't use Google, you know what I'm saying, as if that's not a thing, like, it literally says in the title, the time, it says that we're talking about other things, like, it's, it's very simple, but whatever, man, um, <laughs> J2 Blue says, do you think we'll get an amiibo for this game, an amiibo, I think there might be some amiibo stuff, maybe, yeah, um, I think there might be some amiibo stuff. So, yeah. OJ, I'm not, I'm like I said, I'm not, if I were you guys, guys, Elite Ninja, please do not answer people's questions that come in here. Because you know what? It's the same people that come in and do the same thing every time that don't want to use, like, they'll literally be asking the same questions every single time. If I were you, I wouldn't. Help them out so they can understand time zones. These are the type of people that miss stuff. They miss TV shows. They miss things because they don't understand time zones. And they get upset because things aren't just given to them right there in their time zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, if I were you, I would I, help them out. Trust me. I've had people say, hey, OJ, thank you for letting me know about time zones. <laughs> like, seriously, I've had people come up to me, DM me, you know, heck, even one person emailed me about time zones. I'm just like, <laughs> thanks. You know, like, it's not it's not a hard thing to do, guys. Um, um, will you, um, will you going to stream FR3 Hosses all game? Bro, what, what, how did you misspell that so bad? Like, what is this abbreviation for Fire Emblem? Is that Fire Emblem Three Houses? Three, like, bro. <sighs> Christopher with the dollar ninety nine donation. I appreciate that, Chris. I think that's it's. He says F R, so I'm thinking he meant Fire Emblem Three. Like, what? Um, thank you for the dollar ninety nine donation through Super Chat. Someone post the Google URL for lazy folks. No, nobody post the Google URL. Type Google. All you gotta do is type Google into a search, search bar, and it'll, it'll literally go there for you. Um, it'll literally go in there for you, man. So, <clears throat> so let's see here, <clears throat> dude. You need to not worry. You need to not worry about me. Worry about yourself. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do, dude. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> um. 
Who's hyped for Fire Emblem? Who's hyped for three schools? I'm hyped for three schools. I like school. What's a Mario game you'd like to see represented in Mario Maker 2? Galaxy? If we can do Galaxy stuff, that'd be dope. But I guess it's like a... You know, that'd be really cool if we can put some Galaxy um, in there. Nobody link him to direct. Not a single mod. Do not link him to direct. Do not. <laughs> any mod that links him to direct, I'm a timeout. Do not link him to direct since he's we're not we're not helping any lazy people out here. We're not. If you don't want to wait and watch the direct with me when it says in the time period, or if you want to just watch, you, nobody's gonna link you nothing. You can I can link this timeout for you. That's what I'm gonna link. <laughs> you are lazy, actually. You are you actually are lazy. <laughs> uh zagnery what's up man um r and e next on on the key or next to the keyboards okay is is there a direct today apparently <laughs> uh let's see princess lavini says i would i would say there might be an unexpected surprise in this direct who knows you never know about nintendo i mean there could be there could be i'm just kind of basing i mean like what would be what would be what would be you guys unexpected surprise based on super mario maker 2 though like, what do you guys think that would be um Let's see here. Uh, one of these days, OJ's going to do a prank stream. That's two hours of studying time zones and reading clocks. Bruh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is a direct? I don't know what a direct is. I don't know what a direct is. Um, what did I miss? You missed absolutely nothing. You missed absolutely nothing. Um, let's see. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, Obi Phoenix says, do you think they'll give more information on Mario Maker 2 at E3? I don't really think so. I don't really, I think they're pretty much going to give all the information they're going to give at this one. They might just say, oh, it's available. It, it might be like in a B-roll, right? Like how they did last year with the B-roll footage of Mario, uh, oh, sorry, of, um, different games that were coming out in 2018. I think it, it, Super Mario Maker 2 could be in that B-roll. So, yeah. Yo, what's up, Will? Thank you so much for joining the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Appreciate that. Welcome to the village homie thank you for your subscription everybody chappies welcome will um let's see here uh multiplayer would be a cool surprise that would be a nice little surprise absolutely um are you buying the stylus for mario maker and are you going to play your subscriber levels uh, i'm not playing subscriber levels no um when it comes to elite ninja levels yes i'll be playing those levels because i ain't getting trolled by all the people that just want to randomly troll me you know if i'm getting trolled it's going to be from the elite ninja here so either patreons tier two or up or um, Elite Ninja YouTube members, because I did the user levels last time, and that was a big mistake. Like, just regular subscribers, I got all sorts of stupidity, racism, dumb stuff coming through, so I'm good. I'm never doing that again, because uh, I don't even like Mario that much to, to, to put myself through that. So, no, nah, I'll be doing Elite Ninja, and I'll be screening the level beforehand, before I actually play it on stream. Um, the direct is going to be 15 minutes long um 15 minutes long uh no self-promotion riley van no self-promotion my boy uh whoa, whoa 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 hold up don't ban him hold up guys don't ban don't ban for self-promotion just time out first just time out first and if they keep on doing it then maybe maybe you can ban but no just time out for self-promotion <clears throat> um meowser jr okay um okay meowser jr Water me loan. <laughs> what kind of name is that? <laughs> Water me loan with the subscription. Thank you so much, Water me, Water me loan. Appreciate that. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village. Everybody in the chat, please welcome Water me loan uh, to the village. Uh, Luigi, Peach, and Toad playable. Okay, that'd be something different. That'd be something different. Um, all right, G Five. We'll see you back in a bit. Um, lol, the mods are heavy with the ban. Yeah, because we got a lot of people doing weirdo stuff today, so people are just get. I mean, the mods are getting a little anxious, but it's okay. If I see that it's it's not right, then I'll unban. Um, Switch Mini reveal. Do you guys do you guys honestly think Switch Mini is gonna like seriously? Here, who? Okay, let's let's talk about this chat. Let's talk because we got a lot of new people here. People don't come out to the streams. Do you guys honestly feel that there's gonna be a Switch Mini revealed in this direct? In this in this Super Mario Maker Two direct? Do you guys really think there's gonna be a Switch Mini? I want to get you guys' honest opinion. I want to get you guys' honest opinion. There, I mean, because Switch Mini is not even a real thing at this point. Um, am I buying the stylus? Uh, yeah, I'm buying. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the stylus. I, I it might be like a pre-order bonus though. We don't know. Um, 
So we have to wait and see. Absolutely not. Uh, Toby levels. Of course not. Switch XL. 50-50. I want it, but no. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Christopher with the dollar ninety nine donation with the funny message. Says y'all been watching too many. Who's who's salt face? Oh, you mean you mean super? <laughs> Shout out to Shout out to Super Metal Dave, man. Yeah, the, the salt face was epic though. And you don't look hat. I gotta take an L. Look, I gotta take an L along with Dave, man. That the salt face was that was that was born on this channel. You know what I'm saying? So shout out. First of all, shout outs to Dave. He's a good dude. Uh, and, uh, shout outs to the salt, shout outs to salt faces everywhere, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's, let's not talk about Pro Jared. Um, let's see here. Uh, do you plan on making levels on stream? Nah, I don't, I don't plan on making levels on stream. No, not really. I don't like making levels. I just like playing the levels. I think the slow sales over the month, if the mini would be revealed, in my opinion, I think they'd slow sales over the month if mini would be revealed. Okay. Only Phoenix says no way there won't be a switch mini. Most of you guys say no. Most of you guys say no. Um, let's see. Is it an hour away or five minutes? I don't know. Maybe it's two. The direct is starting in two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Since you can't use Google to literally, since you're too lazy to check Google to know what time zone you're in, it's 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 it's, it's actually starting in two minutes. Hopefully we could. And I'm not gonna play it for you guys in two minutes. So. It's very unfortunate, but it's starting in two minutes, and I don't feel like watching it in two minutes. I might watch it in about an hour, though, but I don't know. I don't feel like watching it in two minutes, though. Um, let's see here. But shout-outs to Christopher. Thank you for the dollar nine nine donation again, man. I appreciate that. Um, Switch Mini won't even be announced at e uh, in E3. It won't. Maybe Switch Pro could be, could be announced. Um, OB Phoenix, no. Nintendo said at E3 that they're not announcing any new hardware at E3. That is official from Furukawa. The big man at Nintendo himself, the president of Nintendo, said that there is not going to be any hardware, new hardware announcements at E3. So it can be before E3, technically, or it can be after E3. So pretty much. Uh, shout outs to uh, Five Nights at Freddy's with the $3 donation. He says, so what time does the, uh, the direct start again? The direct does start at 3 p.m. PT, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time, my boy. Thank you for the $3 donation. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you slap a donation on that question, I'll answer it for you. That that's that's the new rule. I will answer your question. You put a donation and you ask you don't know what time it is or you want a link for something, put a donation and get that since you can't use Google, you want to want to waste my time doing it? Sure. Put a donation in there and then I will answer your silly question. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Um, uh, that is sad news and good news. It's not really sad news at all. We don't really need to know anything about when it comes to what they're talking about. They can do it after E3. They can do it whenever. I mean, I'm just, I want to know about the games. I want to know about the games, games, games. Like, that's what I'm worried about. Uh, whatever hardware comes, it comes. We'll see it when, it when we see it, when they're ready to announce it. Uh, he said, I think some people are trolling now. Oh, oh, absolutely. Some people are trolling now. But yeah, if they're going to troll on a donation, okay. You know, go ahead. That's cool. And it's a Streamlabs, too. So, shout-outs. Thank you so much, Five Nights at Freddy's. Appreciate that. Uh, my day is going good, man. How's your day? Uh, people want to switch mini so bad that they're throwing logic out the window. Yeah. Uh, switch themes. I think everybody wants to switch themes at this point. But, I mean, to be honest, I don't really care at the end of the day. Uh, but it'd be nice. I prefer idea of Switch Pro personally, but I think the Switch Mini is being uh, announced in July. Well, I don't think it's an either-or. I think it's going to be both. I mean, to be honest, man. If you look at the Nintendo 3DS, we got, like a smaller Nintendo 3DS or whatever, or a revised Nintendo 3DS, and we got a stronger Nintendo 3DS. So I don't really think it's like an either or in terms of things. I think it's like a both and just depends when, when is when coming, you know? Um, you're nice at ping pong, good for you, my man. You're not nice at getting a profile picture though. Go ahead and put a ping pong, ping pong ball in that profile picture since you're so nice at it. Um, let's see here, oh, OJ, what, uh, what do you resemble the most, mother, father, or both? Um, I don't know. A lot of people said that I look like my mom a lot. So I, I'd probably say, um, I'd probably say my mom more so than anything in terms of most stuff. Um, because, I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably my mom. Uh, m <laughs> Morm? Is it Morm? Morm Christian 2 is back? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of these names, man. Yo, shout out to Morm Christian 2. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Leading Ninja Villager player. This is Ebony Chat. Please welcome Morm Christian 2 is back. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Um, Alex828 with the subscription, too. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everybody, welcome Alex828 to the village. Appreciate that. Um, let's see here. 
Um, we're definitely getting a Smash reveal this direct. Absolutely Smash. It's a Super Mario Maker 2 direct. But we're definitely getting a Smash reveal this direct. If a Smash character would be released, who would you want? I would want Bub Bubsy in 3D. Um, M1 Health Potion says, what's the worst Switch game you played? The worst Switch game that I've played? Um, Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, Peanut Butter 2144 with the subscription. Thank you so much, Peanut Butter 2144. Thank you so much for joining the Elite Ninja Village. Appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Uh, Goku is getting announced for this deck. Uh, this this direct. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's coming, bro. Goku. I think Goku's going to be in this direct and he's going to be in like future directs as well for various different things. So, yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> what's my what's my favorite game ever? My favorite game ever? Uh, the 40 year old virgin. That's that's a really good game. I like that game. It's pretty good. Um, let's see here. Goku and you will confirmed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yo, what's up, Tetra fan? How's it going? Got your popcorn ready, Mage from Twitter. You guys, if you guys have um, if you guys have uh, predictions for the Super Mario Maker Two Nintendo Direct, feel free or direct, feel free to let me know about them. Tag me at Player Essence or hashtag Player Essence. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, sweet Sunshine, Sunshine. I think it's Sunshine or Sunshine. Either way, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everybody, please welcome Sweet Sunshine to the village. Appreciate that. Um. And this direct, do you think there'll be a new Mario game? A new Mario game. Um, a new Mario game. Yes. <laughs> um, yo, shout outs to yo, Mo the Maker. Mo the Maker with a $2 donation. Oh, no, hold up. Mo the Maker with a $3 donation. I think that's British Pound. $3 British Pound uh, donation. Says Big Up, Player Essence. Yo, been a while, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Mo the Maker. Good to see you here. Thank you so much for the donation as well. Appreciate that. Also, shout out to Matthew Hammond with the $2 donation and says, are people um, hitting the like button? Can we get some Mario World music? Absolutely, we can get some Mario World music for you. Thank you for the $2 donation. Um, and yeah, we can get that music for you. Um, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, also, shout outs to Bun Bun with the subscription and also Tyrone Jennings as well. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everyone in the chat, please welcome all the Elite Ninjas, or sorry, all the nin new Ninja to the village, in addition to the people who give some donations, thank helping out the stream. So, thank you guys. All right, let's get this Mario music going. Um, let's see here. Super Mario, Super Mario World music. Here we go. Let me know how it sounds in the chat, guys, okay? Uh, also, shout outs to Cobalt with the subscription as well. Thank you so much, Cobalt. Welcome to Leading to Village of Player Essence. Everybody, please welcome Cobalt to the village. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Lion Star. How are you? Yo, what's up, Neil Blitz the Printy? How are you doing today? Uh, DJI Studios, what's up, man? Um, yeah, guys, I'm not going to do random music. Just people saying, blurting out random music, play this music, play that music. Um, if you drop a donation and request a song, I can do that, but I'm not going to do it. There's 300 something people in here, and I'm not just going to be playing a bunch of music, okay? So keep that in mind for people that are just starting to blurt out music for me to play. Um, I, let's see here. Uh, Buckyboy404 says, um, are you more excited for Luigi's Mansion 3 or Animal Crossing Switch? I'm more excited for Animal Crossing Wide World on the Nintendo DS. That's the one that I'm most excited for, that game. Almost. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm excited, probably more excited for Luigi's Mansion 3, but we'll have to wait and see. We don't know which game is going to be better or whatever the case is. Um, how long now? The, the direct is starting uh, in about four hours, so you got a lot of time, dude. So just, just go ahead and take a nap. Come back later. Come back in four hours, okay? Um, yo, snap! Yo, Fury Tiger! What the... Tell me! Let's go swooping in like the whole Kage of the stream. Extending that top stream ninja lead. Let's go. The 25. Appreciate that. Fear attack with the Toby Blaster says, need some chill music for the chat. Play Peaceful Days from the best game ever made. Absolutely. That is Peaceful Days from Chrono Trigger. For all you youngins in the chat out here saying Fortnite and doing all this weird stuff that you guys, let me tell you all something about Chrono Trigger. That's an amazing game. You guys need to make sure that you guys play that game one of these days in your life. You're not, you're not a man until you play Chrono Trigger. You guys ever heard of like, you know, like uh, bar mitzvahs for, you know, for stuff like that and other types of like coming to rights for men? You're not a man or, or a full grown woman, okay? You're not a woman or a man until you've beat Chrono Trigger, okay? That, that's how you know that you're an adult is after you've beat Chrono If you have not beat Chrono Trigger, there's something wrong. There's something wrong with you. 
Thank you, Fairy Tiger. I appreciate the I appreciate the donation though. And we'll get peaceful days going in just a bit. Alright. I think we also have uh 167 on the members. So good stuff, guys. We're almost at that goal. Uh shout outs to Buckboy404. Shout outs to Zev Gershon and also SSJ uh titanics as well with the subscriptions thank you guys so much welcome to the lead ninja villager player that's everybody please welcome all the brand new ninja to the village thank you so much um when does this begin it begins in five hours come back in five hours Destrix, and uh you can watch the stream with us in five hours okay uh, it starts in five hours um let's see here etika's uh hold up hold up i don't look anything like etika we're just both black what are you talking about <laughs> like that that's it and etika's like a foot taller than me um is that is that how you treat anybody who's who, who's black on stream um anyway moving on um perfect audio level okay bucky boy says zelda or mario um zelda i like zelda i like zelda zelda's good does xenoblade one count count for what um sans when sans Somebody time out Hidden Mask for that. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't time him out. Don't, I'm joking. Don't time him out. Don't time him out. Don't time him out. Uh, don't time him out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I mean, he sounds like him. I don't sound anything like Etika. What? what? I don't sound... I don't, me and Etika's voice are not the same. <laughs> like, what? Like, we, we don't sound... Are you trying to say now all black people sound alike? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that what you're trying to tell me now? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Is, is, is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that what you're trying to tell me here, dude? I think I think that's what you're trying to say here. I, I don't I don't appreciate that. You know that? I don't appreciate that. Somebody somebody in the ch somebody in the chat. Please hand this man this right here. Keep keep on digging, man. What else you gotta say? Hand this man this shovel. What else you gotta say? <laughs> you want the <laughs> You want you want to keep digging, bro, or are you good? We good here. <laughs> um. All right. So, who's my favorite comedian? My favorite comedian, um, Judge Judy. Absolutely, Judge Judy. Uh, let's see. M1 Health Potion says, calling it. Nintendo is going to release $10 DLC for Mario Maker 2 that adds Super Mario Land filter and items. Hmm, interesting. Uh, sorry for the questions, but favorite Zelda game? Favorite Zelda game? Um, probably uh, Legend of Zelda, the Link's Four Swords. The one where there's all four of them in there. That's my favorite Zelda game. That game's probably the best Zelda game of all time, actually. Um... Let's see here. Uh, LOL. Judge Judy is my favorite comedian. No joke, she is. 1 to 10, how excited for Mario Maker 2? I'm about maybe a solid a solid 8 for Mario Maker 2. Absolutely. Um, you know, I do actually like Wand of Gamelon. Or Wand of Gamelon, the, uh, what was it? The, the Philip CDI project? The Philip CDI project. Project CDI, CD, uh, project CDI or whatever. <laughs> Uh, CD Project Red. Uh, no, I like the um, Wand of Gamelon or whatever. That that one's pretty good. Oh, also, one of my favorite Mario games is Hotel Mario. That one's also and, and uh, Mario's Missing, Mario Time Machine. Those are some of my favorite Mario and Zelda games as well. Um, isn't uh, isn't this isn't Etika's stream? Uh, can't can't tell the difference. Uh, this oh this isn't Etika's stream. Can't tell the difference. Shout out. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much for the dollar nine donation, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Christopher, shout out to my boy. Um, let's see here. Uh, Michael Burns, I've never played Mario Maker 2. Uh, do you... Hold up. I've never played Mario Maker 2. Do you get more fun out of making or playing levels? Well, nobody's played Mario Maker 2 yet, unless, like, Nintendo... Unless you've been at a special Nintendo event or something. Uh, but I think you meant Mario Maker as well. Um, in terms of that, I get more enjoyment out of playing levels. I don't like creating anything. But some people get more enjoyment out of creating levels. So it's, it's there. So there you go. Um... All aboard the Edgar Hype Train. Um... So yeah, 
I thought you said Zelda CDI games were uh, games were and are trash. I never said that, Dragon Twenty Two Expressions. I like the Zelda CDI games. I think they're very high quality. I love the animation in them. They hold up very well to today. If you play them, they're actually pretty good games. So I mean, I don't really think there's a really an issue with them. I mean, but what's the problem with them? You know. Um. Where are you watching the direct? Um. I don't know. Somewhere on the internet, apparently. Um, um, MLG Aaron with the subscription. Thank you so much, MLG Aaron. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player X. Everybody, please welcome MLG Aaron to the village. Let's go. Let go. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's get this Peaceful Days music, shall we? I think it's time for a little bit of a different, uh, different change up here. Thank you, Matthew Hammond, for the music request. All right, so Peaceful. Peaceful days. Like I said, you haven't become a man or a full grown woman until you until you um, have experienced peaceful days. Until you have played it. Um <clears throat> Let's see here. Are you going to the theater to watch the direct in 3D? Let's do it, baby. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm gonna take out my, my my 3D glasses and not the like the old not the new 3D glasses, but the actual old school 3D glasses. You know the ones like with the with the red and the blue that used to get inside like cereal boxes and you get used to get inside like comic books or sometimes. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up those and watch this direct. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see it in 3D. Um, let me know how it sounds, guys. Is it too loud? Not loud enough? Let me know how it sounds in the chat. The music. Maybe you can watch Etika streaming direct to prove he's a different person. <laughs> no. I don't want to give away our secret. Maybe we are the, maybe, I mean, Etika might be my nobody or I'm Etika's nobody. It might be the other way. Who's going to know though? You know what I'm saying? I'm Etika's nobody. There you go. <laughs> I was spawned by sleep. Um, Jaina says, uh, who do you main in Smash? Who do I main in Smash? Colonel. Colonel from Colonel Trigger. Paid Enthusiast says, hey bro, what's up man? How's it going? Spy Kids 3D, yeah, man. Remember the Spy Kids, the <laughs> Frankie Munez dude? He had uh, Malcolm in the middle. I'm like, was it? Wasn't he like the star of that movie or something like that? One of the Spy Kids? Or no, that was Agent Cody Banks. Never mind. <laughs> or was it Spy Kids? That was like one of those two. Like I remember, there used to be like, yeah, like the 3D glasses. <laughs> that was so lame, dude. <laughs> How long to the direct? The direct is starting in six hours, dude. We still got some time, so you can take a nap. You know, go out to eat, get something, and then come back. It starts in about six hours, though. We're just having a little pre-stream, though. But we'll see you in six hours, okay? Um, they were trash, were they? Oh, is they switch it up, switching up the mains? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we better see a trailer for Avatar 2 in this direct. We better, dude. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> Let's see. I think Mario Maker 2 will have background and foreground options. I hope so, at least. Oh, Zelda N64 fan says, yeah, I think... That'd be kind of cool, you know, to, to different back. I, wait, did the first one have that? Uh, Wanda Pinkman says, why are you trolling everyone? Because people are trolling me, so I'm just talking back. <laughs> I'm being very nice about it, though. So people are tagging me and saying weird things, so I'm just simply answering. Like, they're, they're asking me certain questions, so I'm just just talking back. But I'm not really trolling, though. These are This is the truth. This is the this is the truth. What's up, Tyrone? How's it going? I'm giving people shout outs when they subscribe. I'm giving people shout outs. I'm doing everything normal, okay? I'm being very nice here. Uh Blanket6 with the donation with the $5 donation says, Can you play Mega Man 8 opening stage? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Blanket 8. Appreciate that. Shimmy, appreciate that. Really, really, really do. I'm gonna go ahead and get your music playing right away, sir. Thank you so much, Blanket6. You're also an Elite Ninja as well. So shout outs to the Elite Ninja here in the in the chat. Um, all right, Mega Man, Mega Man 8 opening. Let's go. Mega Man 8's dope. At least the music is, at least. <laughs> no shots to Mega Man 8 for people who like it. Um, all right. Candle sit. <laughs> Ben's like, here, I got, I got, what are you buying? And it's just a bunch of candles in, in his jacket. <laughs> Shout out to Candle Salesman with the, with the subscription. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to Legion of Village of Players. It's everybody here. Please welcome. This man, candle salesman to the village. Let's go. Um, yo, El Jalavina, what up, man? How's it going, bro? Good to see you back again. Uh, you angered John with that comment. Which comment? Which one? Oh, Mega Man Eight. 
Bleh. Bleh. Direct, the direct starts tomorrow at midnight. Bleh. Tomorrow at midnight. Man, we got a while to go. This is going to be, what, 12-hour stream? 10-hour stream? Let's do it. <laughs> Etic is illogical and nuts. It might be not. I watch OJ because he's logical and sane. At times, I can be logical and sane. At times, I can be a little bit crazy. No, it's very... It's calculated, though. Yo, Jeff the Tomato! Jeff the Tomato with the subscription. Thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Peace, everybody. Welcome Jeff the Tomato to the village. The first Jeff the Tomato that we've gotten ever. Uh, nah, man. Your main is Big Chungus. Bruh, Big Chungus. He's definitely the main. He's the big boy. You know what I'm saying? The big boy. He, he, you've got to have the big boy in the village. Got to. Got to. Got to. Uh, let's see here. Um, is he the first tomato, though? I'm not sure if he's the first tomato, but he's the first person to name himself after. I mean, we might have had, like, tomato dude or, like, tomato guy. But Jeff the tomato. That's the first Jeff the tomato for sure. Yo, what's up, the noob news? How you doing today, my boy? Fairy Tiger with the dollar in your pockets. Let's go. Shout out to Fairy Tiger with the dollar. He says, put this dollar in your pocket. I will put that dollar in my pocket. Thank you so much, Fairy Tiger. I appreciate the dollar in your pockets, fellas. Hey, fellas. Hey, fellas. <laughs> put your dollars. <laughs> I actually got a dollar. Put your, put your dollars in your pockets. <laughs> put your dollars in your pockets. Um, all right. Yo, what's up, 04021? How's it going, my boy? Uh, don't know if you know, but you have passed 49K, rode to 50K subs. <laughs> Part of that's to say, OJ, will Mario Kart 9 be begin this Mario Maker 2 Direct? Yes. Um, <laughs> absolutely. Any game stream after Mario Maker 2 stream? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got tomorrow's video done in the morning. I was like, yeah, I got it done in the morning, and I went to the gym, and I gotta go do some other stuff today. I got this today was putting in work. Well, wait a minute. Um, no, I've gotta go somewhere, okay? After the stream, I've gotta go somewhere. Wait a minute, no, or we can play some games maybe. But I think people are going to want to talk about the direct. So, no, we're going to talk about the direct afterwards. I don't have enough time because I, I got to be somewhere um, after the direct. Um, but when I come back after the PE nightcap, we can play some games after the PE nightcap because um, I already got tomorrow morning's video done. Done, ready to go, closed captions, HD, monetization done. Everything's done. Thumbnail complete. Don't got to do nothing. Nothing. That is done. So, yeah, tonight we can play some games tonight because I got tomorrow morning's video done. And I got my editing work for other people done. I got picked up a new contract. And I got that already done too yesterday. Your boy was on one last night. Let's go. Um, Fortnite for Smash. Somebody time this man out. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, all right, let's keep it going. Neil Blissett, oh, he says, what's up? What's up, man? How's it going? Um, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. You, you, don't, you don't hide Maze from Twitter. Whoa, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Michael. What are you doing? He didn't even say anything wrong. He said, I'll be waiting for those videos, OJ. Must have been a mistake. Must have been a mistake. Sorry about that, Mage from Twitter. Mage from Twitter is my, my dude. He's the homie. Um... Knight, X Knight, with the 99 cent donation to Super Chat. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. No message, so thank you. Um... Oh, snap. Yo, Frank R. With the Konohamaru. Toby Buster. Let's go. Frank R. With the technology donation says, let's dance here. Shimmy. I told you, we only do, shim we only do shimmies around here, bro. OJ, can you play Death March uh, uh, with Porna? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Frank R. Elite Ninja Frank R. In the village, Mud Shock, my boy. We can get that going for you, Death March. Also, shout outs to Gar Bear. Gar Bear Game Dude. Gar Bear. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the subscription. Welcome to Elite Ninja Village of Players. Everybody here in the chat, please welcome 
Welcome and thank you once again, Frank R. You guys give some love. Give some Toby blasters. Give some Tobys. Give some blasters to my dude, Frank R. Shout outs, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate the donation, homie. Yeah, we'll get that for you going. We'll get that for you going right now. Death March with Torna. This is a dope song, man. You guys, make sure you guys let me know how it sounds once it starts up, okay? If it's too loud. I don't know how to spell March. <laughs> I apparently don't know how to spell March. Okay. Or is it giving somebody the Matumbo finger wave? Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Tim Crook said just just said sub. Yeah, sub to my channel, Tim Crook. Um, that's the Matumbo, <laughs> the Matumbo finger, dude. That man Matumbo's finger was like this, this man Matumbo's finger. You can see it waving from all the way. He'd be pointing at somebody. Point all the way to somebody across the whole court when he swatted them. He wouldn't even go and play offense. That dude would just sit back on defense, swap people, and say, no, no, no. And he would just stand there. Dude wouldn't even run back and play offense with the team. He would just sit back there on defense and just block people all day. Dude had dude had 95 blocks in one game and zero points <laughs> over the course of a season. This man had 5 million blocks and zero points over the course of a season, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. My voice is a little low. All right, let's fix that. Uh, my voice is a little. My voice is not low. I'm hitting red. I think you're talking about. The, is the music too loud? But my voice is definitely not low. I think you need to turn up the volume on your set. Because my voice is hit. My my voice is hitting red bars on the on my on my on my mic. I meant the music. The music is low. Okay, the music is low. All right, the music is fine. All right, I, I don't know. You guys are all going all over the place here. All right, okay, so we got a bunch of donations and stuff that I got to go over. Uh, Chibi Vinyl says, donated $2 and says, OJ, you're awesome, bro. LOL, this stream is hilarious. Can you play Legacy of uh, Legacy of Goku 2 Areas of Action, please? Absolutely, thank you so much, Chibi Vinyl. Appreciate this, uh, the donation. Um, very to our Deed138 subscribe. Thank you so much. Welcome to the village, Deed138. Theory Tiger donated one dollar says Gourmet Day theme. Okay, so another music request. And Matthew Hammond, Hammond donated three dollars and twenty one cents and says we need some Mario music. We need Mario Galaxy two music. All right, man. Shout outs. Thank you so much for the donations, guys, and thank you for the subscriptions. And we will get all that music going for you right after Death March with Torna. Shout outs. Let's go. Keep the questions coming, guys. Keep the questions coming. Let's go. I'm good. All right. Music is good. All right. Good stuff, guys. Thank you. What's my favorite Xenoblade song? Uh, Counter Attack or like More Ordain? Um, is hid Twitter just? What the hell do you mean, Enrique Fraser? What, what, what does that mean? No, no, no. Y'all hype for this direct? Heck yeah, man. Uh, sup, man. A little late, but I made it. You're not? No, you're good, dude. We still got, we still got some time to the, uh, we still got about maybe four hours till the direct starts, so. You know, you're, you're good, dude. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, bro. We got, we got things covered here on Player Essence for you guys. We're starting up super early. Super, super early. So you guys know when you guys know what what's gonna be going down. You know what I'm saying? You guys know. We are early for you guys. Uh, I think there could be a mini game creator on Super Mario Maker 2. Ooh, mini game creator. That'd be interesting. Yeah, maybe. Did it start yet? It actually you actually missed it, Keck the guy. So I mean that's unfortunate. But there is gonna be a replay broadcast from Nintendo in about four hours. So if you want to go get some food, Wendy's chili. Come back, whatever you need to do, go ahead and do that and come back. We'll be streaming, don't worry. So you can just come back anytime, or you can hang out here, you know, and wait for it, because we're going to be streaming all the way for four hours from now, but for the rebroadcast, so yeah, should be interesting. Hang out, man. Um, Let's see here. Uh, VC says, um, I believe local wireless play will be a huge factor in gameplay for Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah, that should be, it should be interesting. Yeah. I got a buzz on my cell phone. Um, have you played MK11? Um, if so, who's your main? Um, I've not played MK11. However, I have uploaded a gameplay video on my channel. And my main is... I think it's Nightwolf. That's my main in MK11. Yeah, Nightwolf is my main. And um, But yeah, I have not played it yet. But there is a video on my channel. 
the rest of the video. And Nightwolf is my main in, the, in, in MK11. Um, hey, no self-promotion, Lionel Gamer. And the only reason why you can't self-promote yourself is because you didn't capitalize the L in your name. Um... <clears throat> MK uh, Pell, what's up, dude? How's it going? Good to see you here. I thought it started at five. No, no, it doesn't start at five. It's, it, you read that wrong. I mean, it's not like there's the actual, you know, in the title of this video, it's not like it actually says what time it's starting up at. So, I mean, like, you know, unfortunately, you, you're not reading the title right. It, it starts in about four to five hours. That's what we mean, four to five hours. So, if you want, you can you can hang out with us till it starts. Um, we're gonna be streaming all day. We're gonna be talking about some stuff. You can ask me questions about Super Mario Maker 2, what you're looking forward to. But unfortunately, in the title of this video, um, you know, it, it, it might or might not say what time the direct starts. So, I mean, it's up to you though. But yeah, it does four to five hours, you know, four to five hours. Who's my Smash main? Goku. Goku. I hope they add flex tape mechanic to Mario Maker. Okay, sounds good. Uh, just went to look up Matumbo. Um, is LOL. Oh, I don't know anything about sports. <laughs> no, no, no. Did you look up Matumbo, dude? Good stuff. You gotta know Matumbo. That Matumbo should be like a. That's a natural thing. You. Sh it, it should be taught in school, like the history of Matumbo. It should be something that you guys should just know. It's like Christopher Columbus. You know what I'm saying? Like, or depending on where you live, they might not teach you about Christopher Columbus. But it, it should. Be, it's like a, something that you should just know. It's like geography. You know, even though VC doesn't know what the East Coast is, even though he lives on the East Coast, he's not really aware of what the East Coast is because they don't teach geography where he's from. Uh, but it should just be one of those things that you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see here. If you can Google Matumbo, you can Google time zones. Right? <laughs> it's so funny. People know everything about Matumbo, but they don't know a damn about time zones. <laughs> It's like, Matumbo is from this place, he's from Nigeria, he was born in 1970s, I mean, well, what about what time zone are you in? I don't know, but I know everything about Matumbo. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's get this next music going here. Um, all right, so, Legacy of Goku, Legacy, my main in, in Smash Brothers, Legacy of Goku. <laughs> That's my main in Smash Brothers. Not just Goku, but the legacy of Goku version of Goku is my main in Smash Brothers. Um, <laughs> fighting dogs in there. It'd be a Goku versus Duck Hunt. That'd be like a recreation of legacy of Goku in Smash Brothers. Right? <laughs> um, all right. Legacy of Goku um, 2. Areas. Areas of action. I've never. I have not got a legacy of Goku 2 sighting. Let's go. <laughs> um like bro i know what the east coast is florida is just the southern atlantic state bro but it's in the sec <laughs> it's he said i feel offended why do you feel offended for what because you don't know what matumbo is um what is the poster on your um on your far right right here palutena rosalina my right, that's my right hand. It might be on your left side of the screen, but my right hand. Stop calling me, whoever that is. Leave me alone. Uh, Lightwing Dragon with the subscription. Thank you so much, Lightwing Dragon. Welcome to the Ninja Village of Player Essence. Also, Vulcan as well. Also, shout out to Christian Kanani with the dollar donation to say, OJ, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, can we get a reaction to my newest video? Um, uh, um, also, uh, you know what song to play. Uh, not a reaction to your news video, not right now at this point, just because there's so many people in here and so many comments that I got to get through and music that I got to play. So no reaction right now, Christian, but we can definitely do it afterwards, um, after the stream is done or after the uh, after the Mario Maker 2 Direct. Um, but yes, I will play. I will definitely play your song. Um, wait a minute. Christian, can you tag me in the chat again? Oh yeah, Ancient Vessel. There we go, Ancient Vessel. I, I brain farted for just for a second. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll check your. Do I, I got, I got that. But yeah, uh, we can't do it right now just because there's, there's just way too many people. But um, we can get it in just a bit. We can get it in just a bit. Um, Wumi boy says, uh, someone send me the link for the direct. No, nobody's gonna send you the link for the direct. Since you're too lazy to look or figure it out, nobody's, nobody, no mods. Only mods can send links here. 
Nobody sent him the link for the direct. Not a single person's gonna do that. You're gonna hang out with me and you're gonna watch it when it's damn time to watch it, okay? In five hours when the direct starts, you're gonna watch it when it starts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, some people are really damn lazy, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> some people are so lazy. Like, they're the most laziest people. <laughs> no link, boys. No li and only mods can link, so. So, nope. Either you you sit here and you wait till I watch it with you. Or you find it yourself. Mods ain't helping you out. Wait, isn't the direct in, a, in half an hour? No, the direct is not in the actual, not in the in, in the in the title of this video. The direct is in five hours. So no, it's not 3 p.m. PT slash 6 p.m. Eastern time. Like it says in the title of the video, it's actually in six hours. Don't listen to what the title says. Don't listen to what the thumbnail says. Listen to me, because I know what I'm talking about. Let's go. Can you tell me uh, what my local weather is, please? Your local weather. Um, cloudy with the side of trolling. <laughs> What's my favorite game ever? Legacy of Goku 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Um, make Mage from Twitter a mod? Yeah, he needs to be a mod. You're right about that. Uh, shout outs to Fury Tiger with a doll donation. He says, shout outs to the No Link Boys. Play something Mario. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Um, <laughs> John Lee with a $2 donation says, uh, two, at, at 255, could you play Super Mario World Ending? Um, all right, yeah, I can play the music. No problem. All right, take it easy, Nindy Gamer. Thanks for coming out to the stream, dude. What time is the direct in GMT? The, the time in the direct in GMT is 74 GMT. Um, ABM 74 G, uh, GMT, if I'm pretty sure. I think that sounds for Great Mountain, Great Mountain Time, right? So yeah, 74, 74 and a half actually. Oh, 74.30 in GMT, 74.30. Yo, what's up, Mark? How's it going, my boy? Good to see you here. What's up, dude? Uh, we have Thanos in real life and his name is Mickey Mouse. Bro, let's go. Um, uh, you, know, you didn't need to delete this comment. Uh, thank me for that. Son of a insert customer. Dear. You know, you don't need to delete his comment for that. Uh, Legacy of Goku 2 is king. Bear, let's go. What time is it in the Viking Nation? Uh, what time is it in the Viking Nation? It's nine hours from now. So, I mean, you just add nine hours. Um, right now in the Viking Nation, it's 11.31 p.m. in Stockholm, Sweden. So, not very hard, huh, guys? It's pretty easy when you can just, you know, use modern technology to know what time it is. Uh, you know what else? I can even tell you what time it is in Australia. It's 7.31 a.m. in Australia. I can tell you what time it is in the UK. It's 10.31 p.m. in the UK. <gasps> Nobody has to send me any links? What? Am I using modern technology to know what time it is? Where all the elite, where all the elite ninja live? No way. No way. Impossible. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, what do you want to see in Super Mario Maker 2? Um, hopefully Goku. No, I'm joking. Um, I would like to see uh, some. I mean, Mario Galaxy style would be great if they did that. Mario Galaxy style would be really good. I would like to see that. All right, let's let's see here. Uh, next is Gourmet Day Theme. Gourmet Gourmet Day Theme. Thank you, Fairy Tiger, for the multiple donations today. Appreciate that. Let's see. Nice T-shirt. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a Wonder Woman T-shirt. I'm a big fan of female superheroes. Um, loving the roast the <laughs> roast the bum stream. Hey, you ask me a troll question, you get a troll, you get a troll answer. You too lazy to look up stuff on the internet yourself, even though you're already on the internet. You come here to ask a lazy question, you're gonna get a lazy answer. Plain and simple. I'm I'm trying to help people learn. Like I said, trust me. The the more you learn time zones, the better you'll do off. Because I can guarantee you, everybody here who doesn't know time zones that isn't trolling, that's actually asking for real, has missed things, has messed up. Has because they're too lazy to simply learn time. They don't want to use what's right in front of them. Technology, these kids these days, they have everything handed to them on a silver Super Nintendo platter, okay? And they don't want to take advantage of it. When I was a kid, I didn't have the internet to look up time zones. You know how many episodes of Yu Yu Hakusho Show I missed? Do you know how many episodes of Spanish Dragon Ball Z before it became popular here that I missed because I couldn't convert the time in certain parts of Mexico? Do you know? Do you guys understand this? Okay? Y'all don't understand what I went through as a kid. Okay? 
Y'all don't understand. Time zones were hard back then when you didn't have everybody tell. You know what I'm saying? Like, time zones were really hard. Who is this spamming my phone? Give me one second, guys. What the heck? Ugh. The heck? Um, grabs a, a, a yes, many. <laughs> um, I can relate. I missed so many episodes of Cubics, bruh. Um, yo, I feel your pain, man. I went through the same stuff. You got, dude. You know what pissed me off? Um, when I was a kid, like it was like once a month or something like that. There used to be this thing called like animation domination or animation Saturday Nation or something on Cartoon Network, and it had like Vampire Hunter D. And it had like mech anime, like Gundam and stuff like that. And that stuff never came on, okay? And it said the Eastern time zone on TV. And I was like, okay, great. And I didn't convert the time. And I missed it. And I was like, oh my god, I blew a gasket as a kid. Blew a damn gasket. Because I missed animation domination or whatever the hell it was when anime barely came on like in like 1993. Oh my god, I was so mad when I missed that on Saturday. It came on like at 9 a.m. And I thought it was like 9 a.m. my time, but it was 9 a.m. Eastern and I missed it, but I didn't have the damn internet. I didn't have Google or Alexa or all these different devices to help me or 300 something people in a chat room say, hey, what time is it doing in my area? <laughs> I didn't have that, okay? I didn't have any of that. There was no internet back then for normal people. Rich people had internet or businesses had internet, but most people did not have internet in 1993, okay? And that's, that's what I went through as a kid. I missed so many damn episodes of anime because of it. My Vampire Hunter D. Um, shout out to Matthew Hem with the doll donation. It says, include, uh, include a uh, let me Google that for you link for the time zone calculator in the description of every direct reveal. Bruh, I should. <laughs> Thank you for the doll donation, Matthew. I appreciate that. Um, yo, Anthony YD with the t Twitch Prime. I'm really feeling it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Fire Nation. You are an elite. The soul of Pyra brings with you, my man. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime. Also, shout out to A Noel, smiley face with the subscription. Thank you so much, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate that. Um, so, so glad my state doesn't do daylight savings. It's silly. Even with daylight savings, it's easy to just factor in daylight savings. It, it does it automatic. Google does it automatically. Zayboy Anime with the subscription. Thank you so much, Zayboy Anime. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everybody here, please welcome Zayboy Anime. Let's go. Um, I think it would be cool if uh, Cappy made an appearance in some form. That'd be dope. Who's your favorite superhero? Mine's Hulk or Batman. And you hate uh, lazy people, huh? People, lazy people. Uh, my favorite superhero, uh, Goku. Um, let's see here. Um, I've already, <laughs> I've already seen people in the Nintendo Direct begging for stuff like Pokemon and Animal Crossing and Mario Maker Two only direct. They're trolling. They're, 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 they're trolling. But yeah, people are gonna do that. Dial-up internet, dude. Dial-up internet for I mean, dial-up internet started back then, but a lot of people didn't even have dial-up internet even back then. Like a lot of people, it wasn't until like America Online, you know, and Net Zero, like in the mid '90s, where that's really when things got popping with internet. But man, dial-up was trash, dude. Like if you use dial, let me tell you kids something. Back when we used dial-up, you couldn't be on the the regular house phone. You couldn't remember we didn't have cell phones back then. Or at least rich people had cell phones, but most people didn't have cell phones. Even some rich people didn't even have cell phones. They had pagers. Okay, so back then, whenever you were on the internet. Somebody couldn't be on the house phone. So if, if somebody was on the internet and you pick up the phone, you'd hear You hear all this stuff like ah <laughs> My mom would be like Francis get off the, get off the internet I need to call somebody <laughs> Francis what are you doing? Francis nah nah I need to call. Can you please get off the internet? That's what my mom would be like. Oh my god, I remember hearing that so much. Mom, I'm just downloading Chrono Trigger again on my ISO. Mom, I just need to download Lufia. Let me just download Lufia real quick. It's gonna take about another three hours to download literally like a, a, a 15 megabyte file. <laughs> but that's how long it took back then with dial-up, dude. It took like three, four hours to download one ROM. <laughs> I'm really it. One damn ROM. One freaking ROM. Three, four hours, dude. Maybe even longer. Oh, snap. Yo, I didn't show up because we got somebody. Yo, Jetty. Jetty says, notice me, senpai. Notice me. Shout out to Jetty. With the 
$50 donation. Thank you so much. You have become the top streamer. There's just so many notifications going. It can't keep up. You guys are breaking Streamlabs. Stop breaking Streamlabs. It's like, ah, my arm's being twisted. <laughs> my arm. Let go of my arm. All right. Jetty. I will replay that. Taking Jetty with a $50 donation. Thank you so much, Jetty. Taking the soul of the chat. Jetty. I've noticed you, senpai. You're the senpai around here. Jetty with the 50. Jesus, dude. Jesus. Let me see if I can replay it. Let's see if it'll play. It's not going to play. Yeah, Streamlabs is kind of broke. Yeah, it it, it it shows up, but it, it shows up in the chat, but it doesn't... Hold up. Yeah, the, the, it's not doing the replay. Hold up. Let me see here. Test. It's a test. It's a test. It's a test. I really want jetties. Oh, God. Okay, Frank R. Frank R with the dummy. Bless the. I'm losing my voice. Let's go. Frank R with the $20 donations. Let's go. Let's break the stream, bro. <laughs> no. No, wait, calm down. Jetty, it's not working. You broke it with the 50, dude. Thank you for the donation, though. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the 50. Frank R, thank you for the 20. Try to break the stream. <laughs> Octo, a uh, fairy tech and donate another dollar says Octopath battle theme. All right, we got, we got a lot of music to play. I got to play this music before this freaking stream starts. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much for the support. Also, Geek with the Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Appreciate that. Welcome to the Fire Nation, or welcome once again, six months. That's shout outs. That's, that's hype, boy. That's hype. That's hype. Um, Anthony1972 with the Twitch follow, too. Thank you guys so much. Jesus, it all came in at like at one, within a two minute span. Everything just got dropped. Um, all right, where's the music at? Where are we at on the music? Um, Super Mario World ending. Super Mario World ending. Wait, hold up. No, we have to play something Mario. Okay. Fairy Tiger, so we might play two Mario things in a row or something. Let me know how it sounds, guys. <laughs> Poppy Essence. <laughs> Alright, OJ just joined the PE Nation. I just joined, dude. Uh, do you play non-Nintendo games? Uh, yeah, is Xenoblade a non-Nintendo game? I play that one. I also play Fire Emblem. That's also a non-Nintendo game. I play that. Um, I also play... Uh, Animal Crossing a bit. That's not a Nintendo game, is it? What else? Uh, what else do I play? I play... Smash Brothers. Joker's in the game. So, I mean, that's not on Nintendo yet, right? So I play as Joker in Smash Brothers. So, yeah. It's a good game. Smash Brothers. Uh, Clouds in Smash Brothers. Well, Final Fantasy VII's on Nintendo. Uh, I play... I like Richter. Richter's not on the Switch yet, so... Good stuff. Kirby, yeah. Kirby, that's a good game, too. That's not a Nintendo game either. No. Um, in terms of non-Nintendo games, there's some stuff that I play. But what does it matter at the end of the day? What, what, is, what does it matter? I actually... Um, one of my favorite games is Shadow of Mor... Uh, uh, what was it? Shadow of Mordor? That's one of my favorite non-Nintendo games, actually. Probably, probably my favorite non-Nintendo game is Shadow of Mordor. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see here. Michael Bryan says, do you think they'll announce Mario for Smash? I think at some point Mario's going to get in there. Like Paper Mario? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Metroid isn't Nintendo. Why can't Samus crawl? Let me ask you that, Jalen Pipes. Um, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy, Jadez. Thanks for coming out to the stream. You have 20 copies of Shadow of Mordor? I do. Um, everything Nintendo says, you're rude. Um, and you're timed out. <laughs> oh my gosh and you're and you're, and you're timed out <clears throat> now you got to do a shadow of mortar giveaway now i should i should do a shadow of mortar giveaway yo what's up arash how's it going if you think i'm rude peace nobody asked you to be here and you spelled every everything everything doesn't have a space in between it by the way if everything is one word just, just to let you know um, 
Peace! Nobody asked you to be here. You ain't an elite ninja. You can leave if I'm rude. Get to stepping. I didn't ask you to, I didn't say, hey, hey, every thing Nintendo, because you have a space in between your name. You want to come to my stream? I'm going to be, I'm going to be extra nice today. And I'm not, I'm not going to have fun with the stream. And I'm not going to sit there and entertain people because that's what I do is entertainment. But I'm not going to sit here and entertain people. Nobody asked you. Click, leave. <laughs> um, let's see here. I hope they cut Mario Maker 2. I hope they cut Mario from Mario Maker 2. <laughs> Man, this is everything Nintendo is getting bodied right now. They did an all-out attack on everything Nintendo. Dragon's Dogma is really good on Switch. It's pretty good. Enemy, enemy within 21. Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Jenny though, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that fifty dollars donation, dude. I, I really do. It's not letting me replay it. <laughs> okay, you guys can stop timing him out now. Jesus Christ, he'll be timed out by the. He'll be timed out for like the next three years if you guys don't stop. Um, <laughs> watch the language candles, candle sales, man. No, no curse, no language that bad. But no, what you said wasn't that bad. But no, no curse language with the F word, please. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube gets kind of crazy with uh, people that use the F word in the chat. They can demonetize things if, if, if on a replay there's an F word. So I see like thing, but yeah, yeah. But he did, yeah. Everything doesn't have a space. It doesn't have a space in between. But his name is Every Thing Nintendo. Every Thing Nintendo. Every Thing. Nintendo. Phil says, I'm hype! He ain't gonna pillage this village. <laughs> Jesus, the chat. Oh, we wound out a little bit today. Uh, Candle Salesman is my bad. Oh, no, you're good, Candle Salesman. I know you're, you're, I know you're a cool dude. Anybody with the name of Candle Salesman, you gotta trust them. They're, you mean no harm with that name. You mean no harm. <laughs> uh, just know, I mean, I don't mind like, damn. You can say like, damn, that's fine. Or hell, that's fine. But uh, just know, nothing that Google will flag. Nothing that Google will flag. Um... I wonder uh, why people on Twitter are starting live streams for the direct when it doesn't start for four more hours. I know, dude. I don't know. Because pe people want to be able to... You know, look, guys. Listen. I'm a renaissance man. I'm a renaissance YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do, I, I, I do things a bit differently here. Okay? The Elite Ninja Village is elite for a reason. When people sit here and they tell you, oh, this person has this many subscribers. Or this person has that many subscribers. They don't really mean it. They don't really mean that's not elite. That's not an elite ninja village. That's just a channel. There's a difference between what I do and what other people do. Okay? There's a difference. Hopefully you guys understand that. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Mario, um, Mario for Smash confirmed, confirmed. Mario confirmed. I think Candle Salesman might ought to have one, at least one space in his name. No, you got to have it all together. Otherwise, it loses the significance. You want to let people know that he's a Candle Salesman. And when you're a Candle Salesman, you got to put it all together. It's it's one word. It's 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 synonymous with life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's got to be all one word. Candle Salesman, baby. Don't ever put spaces in between them. Um, all right, Chubbs. See you later. Thanks for coming out to the stream. <laughs> um, we rolled over 49K. Let's go for 50. Let's go for 50. Let's go. Peach for Smash. Leaked. Let's go. Let's go. I think they show how 3D world assets work in other styles. Okay. I don't use candles. I use um, incense. Incense is good. Incense is good. What he sell? Candles, baby. Uh, what are you looking for in this direct, OJ? I'm looking for uh, maybe a galaxy, like a galaxy themed levels. Hey, no spaces in this race. If, if there's a space, you ain't got an ace. <laughs> That's funny, man. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Um, I think they show how 3D world assets work in the other styles. Okay. Advanced intelligence essence. Let's go. Is that like turtles? Turtles are cool. They move kind of slow, though. Fire Emblem Maker, bruh. Fire Emblem Maker would be too many waifus on one. Too many waifus. People would make waifu, waifu, uh, waifu emblem. <laughs> all women, no men at all. <laughs> one dude, you're the main character. One dude, all women. People, people would be making too many waifu, waifu emblems. Nintendo ain't gonna do that. Um, 
And since it makes your eyes burn after a while, yeah, you can't have it on the whole time. You just put it on for a bit and then you then you then you let it out. Waifu overload, yeah, man. Um Lots of people have good personality, but you really can't mess around as much as, as much like this. Nah, you can only mess around like this like during like um during streams like this where there's so many people that aren't subscribed yet. And like people that understand will subscribe and will and will uh you know and will follow along. People who don't will say you're rude and will leave and do stuff like that. So it's okay. I'm I'm looking I'm 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 here to have fun. I'm here to have fun and talk with people that that understand the humor, that want to be part of the elite ninja village. If you don't want to be like that dude left for somebody else's stream, he's not an elite. You know what I'm saying? He's not an elite. You know what I'm saying? He's just a guy, he's just a person. So, you know, we're here. I got we want the elites to be here. This is the elite ninja village. So we want the elites to be here. So people that want to leave, they just bounce. The people that want to know what this is about and know the type of streams that we have, how much fun we have, and what this whole stream and what I do is about, they'll stay. So I only want the top of the top. We don't want the scrubs. That's not how player essence rolls, dude. Heck, if I wanted scrubs and all sorts of people to come here, I wouldn't even be doing streams like this. I'd just be editing videos for like editing a single video for like a million hours like some other people do and uh, worrying about that and then never talking to you guys at all that that's what that's what if you want to get like a bunch of people or whatever the case is that that's the whole thing doing live streams and all that that's different you got to actually want to do those you know what i'm saying believe it or not i know that's hard for some of you guys might to believe but you actually have to want to do those i mean trust me look at youtubers my size and up how many of them youtubers people that started youtube how many of them actually stream normally <laughs> like stream normally i mean there's some out there i mean but a lot don't multiple time day streams unless it's like a twitch streamer that's different you know uh what's up oj uh, i'm excited i wonder uh they show up well, hold up i wonder what they can show off in 15 minutes they can show off a lot in 15 minutes um <laughs> yeah, but that guy uh, uh, kick left because you told him the stream starts in four hours. Well, if he's not intelligent enough to look at the title of the stream and convert time zones, like literally it says in the stream title. So, I mean, that's not my fault. That's his fault. You know what I'm saying? He's not in a, Exactly. We got to brush away the scrubs. If he's actually going to believe me when I was seriously being sarcastic, you can tell. And it's in the title of the stream when the, when it starts. Hey, look, man, that's not my that's not my problem, dude. Like, come on. <laughs> that's not my problem man um all right let's get this let's get this uh let's get this stream up for you guys so we so we don't uh so we don't miss it yeah we gotta we gotta filter them out i don't want non-elites here asking stupid questions and who can't read a title <clears throat> Only nine minutes left. Let's do it. Okay, Super Mario Maker 2 direct. I am going to hide this chat, though. We ain't need to hear none of these jabronis. And we are gonna we are gonna optimize this a bit more so you guys don't see so much of the borders. There we go. Perfect. Bam, right there. Up next. Just keeps going, doesn't it? Okay. And then we'll put it full screen. So we'll put it how does theater mode look? Uh theater mode don't look too bad. But I'd rather have it not theater mode though. Oh, just have it like, just have it like that, and then we'll just, why don't we just put it like, actually, we'll just put it back like it was. I'll just put it like that so you guys can see the full screen. So it'll just be like, it'll just be like you guys are watching on your YouTube feed. So yeah, we'll just do, we'll just do that. All right, so. <clears throat> um, imagine if you got 5.5 million subscribers and you got to answer the comment. Not a lot of OV Phoenix, a lot of a lot of YouTubers with 5.5 million subscribers don't do live streams because they already know it's going to be crazy. So they don't even do live streams. There's no point because they're not even going to be able to answer anybody's questions either. You don't have to. One, 
you don't have to do live streams because you have 5.5 million subscribers so you're already making you know crazy money so why do more i mean if you don't like live streaming which most people on youtube or people that started doing youtube don't like live streaming because this is not a live streaming site um so there's no point there's no point in in doing live streams when you got that many subscribers most people that have that many subscribers don't live stream i don't think there's anybody really i mean there's very few people that live stream regularly with 5.5 million subscribers that that i know of at least um yeah and if they do stream it's on twitch if they do stream it's on twitch but they don't have 5.5 million subscribers on twitch so yo what's up quantum l what's up quantum l how's it going my man good to see you here you guys have any last second predictions or last minute predictions before the stream? Oh, I got to play some music. Uh, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. I messed up on the music stuff. Um, all right. Uh, Octopath battle theme. Octopath battle theme three. We should have enough time to get through this music, guys. It's not going to go into the into the direct. Peach playable with a uh, Mario Maker outfit. Okay. Mario 3D World assets. Quantum Bell's return to the Quantum Realm. Let's go. Listen, Dashi uh, live streams a lot, but only replies to questions in Super Chat, which makes sense. Yeah. But Dashi doesn't have 5.5 million subscribers, though. But yeah. Um, I'll never do that, though, by the way, guys. I'll never do it to where I only answer questions from donations or Super Chat. Never. That's never going to be a thing for me. I don't care how big I get. I'm always going to answer questions from people who don't donate to. Um, do you have to play the first Mario Maker to play the game uh, when it does come out this June? Uh, no, nah, you don't got to play the first Mario Maker. Nah. Love you talking to the community. Sets, sets you apart. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Yo, the mobster. What's up, man? Yeah, thank you. I feel like they're going to release the ability to download levels through Nintendo online app and, and send to switch like smash world yeah i think that's a possibility super mario maker 2 demo shadow drops at the end of the direct that'd be dope uh, online co-op so you can build with the buddy uh maybe if i was nintendo what maker would i make probably nothing i'm not i don't i don't like making games games and stuff like that i don't like making games so nothing um jumpy says i thought you were going to play super mario world ending i did play super mario world ending i did you didn't, I, you didn't hear me play it? I did play it. Sub-Zero, uh, Sub-Zero says, uh, OJ, finally off work, four days off. Yo, bought Torna, Travis X again, Yoshi, not enjoying the stream. Nice, you got a lot of games to play and a lot of time off, so have fun. Uh, they're not going to open with this. They're probably not going to open with the Switch Mini. Uh, Carrot. Mario Maker themed controllers? That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, Mario Maker themed controllers. Joy-Cons. A Pro Controller, too, would be nice. Mr. Pete uh, says, uh, want a limited set Switch console? Okay, I think that's possible. Hey, uh, what's what's in four hours? For me, it supposedly starts in five minutes. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about, dude. This this stream starts the Mario the Super Mario Maker two stream starts in definitely starts in four hours. It definitely starts in four hours. Let me see here. I mean, it definitely starts in four hours. It definitely starts in four hours. I don't know about you. Where I live, it's 2.57 p.m. PT. You know? Where I live, it's 2.57 p.m. PT, but I'm pretty sure 3, 3 p.m. PT is in five hours. I'm almost positive it's in five hours. At least four hours. Minimum four hours. Five hours max. So I'm pretty sure. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Don't know what you're talking about. It still didn't work, Jetty. Yeah, that 50 still didn't work, dude. I don't know what's going on here. Streamlabs broke. Uh, let's see here. Nah, he's trolling. It starts in 24 hours. Bruh! You actually got me confused with the time. How? how I, well, you know what? Might want to rethink your elite status here, Psycho Pie. 
what time does does it start if you're living under a, a in a trailer down by the river? <laughs> uh, OJ became trend troll. <laughs> I see a new storybook collection stories. Okay, starts in five years. Ooh, Dragon's Dogma for thirty, Starlink for thirty. Nice. Oh snap. Hey everybody, Sam here from the tree. The hell is this? My colleagues Roxanne, other Sam, and Morgan. Oh. And we're here to show you a little bit of a new game mode for Super Wait, Mario. Wait, this is not it? What the hell am I doing? <laughs> that was something completely different. How the hell did that get on my screen? Oh Super Mario Party. Calm down about the volume and stuff, guys. Chill. It'll be it'll be good when it starts. Chill. Okay? Relax. Super Mario Party. <laughs> Did I troll you guys? <laughs> maybe I maybe I trolled you guys. Maybe I didn't. Let me ask you guys a question. Did I troll you guys or not? Was that a troll or not? Was that a troll or not? Which one? What do you guys think? <laughs> oh my gosh. Troll? Troll? Nah? Okay. You just defeat us? Yes? Toby? You trolled us? You got me? <laughs> no troll? <laughs> troll? A lot of guys are saying I trolled. I uh, I was trolled for about a second. Unintentional troll? Okay. Troller essence? Troll? Wasn't even looking at the time. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoop. Mario Maker 2, you can create the Super Mario courses of your dreams. And play courses created by other people from around the globe. In other words, you can basically have new Super Mario courses to enjoy every day. Now, let's jump right into the basics. Lay some groundwork. Pick from iconic enemies and objects, like blocks, coins, goombas, and pipes, and place them anywhere you like. You decide what goes inside blocks and where warp pipes should take Mario next. And that's just the tip of the goal pole. You can hide enemies, stack them up high, and biggen them with a super mushroom, hide coins in pipes, and so much more. By combining a variety of parts, you can do some incredible things, nice. stuff that isn't even possible in regular Super Mario games. Taking a course you're working on for a test drive is a snap, allowing for rapid fire experimentation. You can change the course theme, whether it's underground, underwater, Castle, your choice. Even the game style itself can be altered with options like Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario World. Oh, that's it. No other ones. No galaxy. Complete a course, and if you have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, you can share it with other players online. Super Mario courses are meant to be played, so share yours with the world. Time to showcase some of this game's new tools, course parts, and features. Just pick a direction and set the length to create a slope. It's a beautiful thing, huh? Gentler slopes are an option, too. Everyone's greatest fear, Angry Sun, is here. It holds a perpetual grudge, following and attacking Mario. Remember the snake block? You can determine its trajectory by freely drawing. Is that new? And, woo, the blue one's really fast. Hit an on-off switch, and the red and blue blocks will swap. You'd be surprised how many uses there are. If you use them wisely, you can set up traps like this one, or even create a situation like this. 
button. That's cool. Change tracks. Or make conveyor belts change directions. Seesaw. Seesaws tilt left to right under Mario's weight. They're a perfect fit for risky tilt-centric courses like this one. Let it grab you. Build momentum. Then jump. Mario can even use these to send himself flying. Huh, bet you could even make a crane game. In this course theme, you can freely set the water level. Maybe half the course should be underwater. Or maybe the water level should change over time? You can select from three different speeds. And water isn't the only thing you can flood a course with. Oh, lava too? Nice. This side scroller is truly customizable, right down to the scrolling itself. In a custom scroll course, you can decide where you want the scroll to start, adjust its trajectory, and set the speed at each point. The result is nice and smooth while you're playing. You could have it go up here, then go sideways. Hey, that's fast. Oh, man, it's gonna be crazy. You can now create vertical sub areas. Of course, the auto scroll feature operates vertically in here. To hide an area from view and prevent scrolling from revealing it, create a solid line of blocks perpendicular to the scroll direction. And voila, secret room. Hmm, okay. Bonsai Bill looks like it's coming for Mario, because it is. You can select from the four cardinal directions. The red ones have a homing function. Watch out. Even lava doesn't phase the dry bone shell. Oh, nice. Play dead for a sec and you'll be temporarily invincible. Yo, that's cool. The 10 coin is worth, yep, 10 coins. Find hard to reach areas and tempt players. Feeling charitable, use the 30 or 50 coin. Mario may just be strolling along when a sudden sound effect plays. There are a what? bunch in Super Mario Maker 2. Stick one on an enemy, or perhaps go with something more sinister. Oh no. That's gonna be horrible. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, and you can create a course together on a single screen. A little creative collaboration goes a long way. Okay, that's cool. Collect 50 coins. Defeat all the dry bones. Reach the goal as Super Mario. Mm, you can nice. set clear conditions, and there are a wide range to choose from. Nice. From enemies to allies to items, a twister will suck up anything. Unsuspecting passersby will fall victim to the icicle. Hey, conveyor belts can go diagonal too. Did you know red Yoshis breathe fire? Parachutes slow down the falling speed of anything attached to them. Watch out for Boom Boom. The mad lad will chase after you, swinging his arms and legs. And there's still more to discover. If you're not sure how to use something, try out story mode. Okay, well, here we go, story mode. In story mode, Mario what? sets out to help rebuild Princess Peach's castle. And to do so, he'll face an entire game's worth of courses in search of coins. Talk to the taskmaster to accept a job from the bulletin board and play the associated course. If Mario can clear the course, he'll earn coins as a reward. Hey, rebuilding a castle ain't cheap. There this. are more than 100 original courses crafted by Nintendo in story mode, showcasing a variety of tools, course parts, and features. As you play, you'll see many examples of expert course design. As the castle's reconstruction progresses, Mario will be able to reach more areas in and around the construction site. The characters you meet in these new areas may even offer up additional jobs. This is cool! That is freak- that- th this is way better new than the first sequel? game! New course themes. Desert. Wow! That Snow. Is, that is so cool! There's a story mode in the game! Forest. With like, missions and uh, objectives! Are you serious? And Sky. There's new music too, written by veteran Super Mario composer Koji Kondo. New music! can capture the classic sound of the Super Mario series. We've also got a new course part that makes these course themes even more fun. The moon. Tap this icon here and day becomes night. Nice. If you hit the angry sun, Mario will lose a life. 
But if you hit the moon, you'll wipe out a screen full of enemies. <laughs> cool. At night, expect a surprise or two, depending on the theme. In the ground theme, Goombas will float. The underground will turn upside down. In a ghost house, the lights will dim. And in the sky, gravity itself will be reduced. The desert will get hit by a sandstorm, while the terrain of the snow theme will become really slippery, and the forest's usually pleasant waters will be as poisonous as they come. Rumor has it that some items will even transform into something else come nightfall. Rotten Once you've unlocked the night versions of themes, you don't have to place the moon course part to use them. Nice. Okay, 3D World content here. The Super Mario 3D World game style is finally available. The way this game style works is very different from the other game styles, so the course you're working on will clear if you toggle between them. That's because there are things you can do here that you can't do in any other style. You can't mention Super Mario 3D World without Cat Mario. Mowser's there too. Climbing walls, scratching, this sliding, is my favorite. bouncing. With all these moves at your disposal, the courses you create will instantly stand apart from courses made in the other game styles. Yes. You can even climb up the goal pole. Yes. These clear pipes can be placed in any shape you like. Yes! Be careful, though. Enemies will make use of them as well. Crates float on water and lava, so you can make your own path when there's no platform to walk on. If you come in contact with a warp box, you won't be able to escape its pull. You may get warped to an area full of enemies. Ooh. Consider yourself warned. Better not touch the spike block. You could combine it with the on-off switch to set traps like this one, too. The exclamation mark block extends when hit. Ground pound to expand it faster. Nice. Blinking blocks phase in and out. Ooh. Just like the game. It's like 3D World. You make guys make these levels. Time those jumps. Make 3D the World levels. The track block will follow any path you draw. The blue one won't move until you step on it. The mushroom trampoline yields a satisfying bounce. The piranha creeper will extend wherever you draw. Watch out for its spiky stem. Skip Squeaks like to try and match Mario's jumps. Sometimes you can use that to your advantage. Take this sweet ride for a spin to really tear through the course. Just try not to crash it. What was that? Drive safely now. What was that Famicom logo? They're the Lord of Lava, Charvard. This monster's obsessed with gobbling up Mario. Pom Pom smoke bombs onto the scene. This ninja's mastered the art of a doppelganger. Uh, which one's the real one? The Bonsai Bill from Super Mario 3D World can actually fly toward the screen. It's so powerful, it can break through walls. <laughs> Many other familiar faces from Super Mario 3D World will liven up this game style as well. Bowser! Dude, there was a Famicom thing there. Course World is an online hub where players from around the world can share their carefully crafted courses. Browse by popular courses, or new courses, or run a search to find what you're looking for. For example, search by tags like puzzle solving. Or maybe find some auto-scroll courses. Play a course, and you can leave a comment if they're enabled. Dark Souls. <laughs> If you download a course, you can play it any time, even when you're not connected to the internet. Nice. In Course World, each player has a maker profile. If other players like your courses, you'll earn maker points. But on top of being successful, why not be stylish? Customize your look with things like shirts and hats that you unlock by completing various objectives. 
test your skills by trying to clear as many courses as possible before you get a game over. Select a difficulty and courses will be queued up at random from the full collection available on Course World. Secure some truly impressive scores and you might earn a top spot on the leaderboards. On top of that, there's a new mode in Super Mario Maker 2 that'll let you play together with others. What? What? In Course World, you can enjoy multiplayer with other players from around the world. What? Are you... In multiplayer versus mode, up to four players face off in a side-scrolling showdown. Each player will be assigned a different character. Then they'll race each other in a randomly selected course. Okay. The player who clears the course first wins. Okay, it's not the full Depending game. on your win-loss ratio, your versus rating will change. Playing it safe is no way to win in a white knuckle course like this one. Watch the others eat your dust as you escape an extreme obstacle. But when a boss comes around, you may want to put your differences aside. Maybe you can get away with sitting back and stealing all the credit at the end. During multiplayer, there are strategies to consider that would never come up during solo play. A ranking system! In multiplayer co-op mode, on the other hand, all players must work together to beat the course. Oh, there's, there's, there's if a co-op too! player finishes it, everyone's a winner. If up to four players are hanging out together, and each has a Nintendo Switch system and the Super Mario Maker 2 game, one can set up a virtual room for the others to join via nearby play. Only the player who makes the room needs a persistent internet connection for everyone to play. You won't be rated in this mode, but you can check out the standings. By the way, if you've designed a course with versus play in mind, consider using the multiplayer versus tag. It's a great way to help players who love to battle it out find what you've made. Mario Maker 2 will come down the pipe on June 28th. If you're interested in pre-purchasing Super Mario Maker 2, we've got a couple promotions for you to consider. First, there's the Super Mario Maker 2 plus Nintendo Switch Online Bundle, which is available as both a physical and digital release and includes a 12-month individual membership for Nintendo Switch Online. If you're already a Nintendo Switch Online member, these 12 months will stack on your current membership. Second, if you have a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership, there's a way to pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2 at a discount that's exclusive to members. The Nintendo Switch Game Vouchers Special Offer. Paid Nintendo Switch Online members can buy a pair of Nintendo Switch Game Vouchers for just $99.99. Each voucher can be redeemed for an eligible digital game. Choose from some of your favorite Nintendo Switch titles. For example, redeem one voucher to pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2 and use the other to download Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And you save $19.99 from the combined suggested retail price okay. for this pair of I games. Get it. I get it. This special offer is a great way to pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2 at a discount and get a discounted game to play while you wait for its release. For more information about this special offer, visit Nintendo.com. Vouchers are redeemable for one year from the date of purchase and don't have to be used at the same time. Folks with a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership can buy and redeem Nintendo Switch game vouchers via Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch, as well as the game store on Nintendo.com with a PC or smart device. Oh, and one more thing, we're pleased to announce the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational 2019 Tournament. Tune in for exciting, live, competitive oh, gameplay nice. on June 8th. For more details and ticketing <laughs> info, visit e3.nintendo.com. Three tournaments. I think, I think that's it. It should be 40, not 20. But why are you, why are you, why are you dictating how much they should get a, give a discount though? <laughs> Wait, why should it be 40 based off of what? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. If you buy, this is for people who buy games digital. If you buy games digital, then it's a good deal. If you don't buy games digital, then it's not a good deal. But if you're going to buy two games that are full priced, then it, you get $20 off. Then that's a good deal. I don't see how that's a bad deal. In, in my opinion, at least. 
Uh, if you're gonna, you get twenty dollars off. Plain and simple. So I don't, I don't, under, I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> I don't understand why it's a bad, why, why it's bad. If you're gonna buy two games digital anyway, and if you have Nintendo Switch Online, why is it bad? I don't get that. Um, but anyway, um, let's see here. Any deals better than than no? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how it, it, it's trash when before people were buying digital games and not getting anything off, and then they offer a way for you to get something off, and then all of a sudden it's bad. Wait, wait what? <laughs> wait wait what <laughs> okay it sucks all right uh it's good for digital buyers though if you don't buy games digital then it's not good for you but if you buy games digital then it's good for you um yeah no stylus no no stylus and no new uh no new bundle or slash controllers yeah nothing i thought that they would do that but online multiplayer that's good online multiplayer is definitely good i i, I i'm shocked that they have online not only is it online multiplayer but it's online ranked multiplayer. Online ranked and also online unranked, apparently. And then on top of that, you can have one person that has online and then other people can play games with you. And then on top of that, there's a story mode in the game. <laughs> VC says, it should have been $100 off. <laughs> it should be $500 off. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Um, but anyway, um, can you explain the voucher system? I didn't really understand. Basically, you can buy a voucher for... You Basically, you get two vouchers. You buy them for... You buy it for $99, right? You buy these things called vouchers. So let's just... You buy two vouchers for $99, and then you can use it to get two games on the eShop. That's essentially what it is. You can use it to get two games. That's all what they're talking about here. Two first... It seems like first-party full retail price games. First-party full retail price games. So you can use it to get those two games. So you save twenty dollars. That's essentially that. That's that's pretty much all it is. So if you're somebody who buys Nintendo games full price digital at launch, now if you're somebody who waits for discounts, waits for deals like Amazon to get the ten dollars off or something like that, then it's not a good deal for you. If it's that, if if you do that. So for me, I'm not buying any vouchers. So it's not necessarily it's a bad deal. I just I'm just not gonna do it because there's no need for me to do it because I buy my games physical and I get a discount through the Best Buy Gamers Club. You know. Um, or I'll just buy on Amazon. You can get a little bit of a discount there or whatever the case is for prime members on um, pre-orders and stuff like that. Or there's some stuff that you can get, um, you know, so it's not, but if you're somebody who buys digital day one, then it's a good deal for you. Uh, Mario bros, uh, Mario bros, Wii U deluxe is trash now. Yeah. Um, that should boost online memberships, but they still need to give us better games, free games a month. Uh, no NES games, uh, Super Nintendo games. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to boost uh, memberships, but yeah, they need to do a better job with, uh, Super Nintendo games or bringing other stuff over. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> just, yeah, that's why I, that, that's why I don't need vouchers. Yeah, but that, that, I understand that, but that doesn't mean it's, that doesn't mean it's bad for people. I mean, people were saying, where's the discounts? That's what people were saying. People were saying, Nintendo Switch Online members are supposed to get exclusive discounts. They give you an exclusive discount, and then people's, and then you're saying, oh, it's bad. This is what they said they're going to do, though. They said they're going to give you exclusive discounts, and it's an exclusive discount if you buy digital games day one. It's an exclusive. It's a discount. It's a, it's a good deal if you buy those day one. If you don't, then it's not. It's not. But that's what they said they're going to do. So, I mean, like, but I don't buy games digital anyway, so for me, it doesn't matter. Um, no Amiibo support. So, these vouchers fulfill Nintendo's promise of special offers for Nintendo Switch users? Well, they already fulfilled their 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 uh, special offers because there was like let's say like the nintendo switch uh control nes controllers that was actually a special offer that you can't get anywhere else but nintendo switch online members yo david balfour with the ten dollar almost toby buster let's go and he says i don't usually buy digital games but mario maker will be the one that i think i would be nice to have all digital for convenience yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna be getting to be honest um I would probably buy Super Mario Maker digital. I don't usually buy games digital, but if I was to buy it digital, I'm getting a review code for the game. But if I was to buy if I was to buy the game, I'd probably get that game digital just so I don't I mean that's the one where I'll be lazy because I know that I'm not gonna be playing that game a ton. So I'm not sure if I want to have like a physical cart for that game. I think that would be a digital game for me. I think it would be like one of the games that'd be that would be digital for me. You know, like for example, Super Smash Brothers, that game, even if I didn't get a review code from Nintendo, I would have bought the game digital. I mean, I got a digital copy anyway. I bought the game digital because I bought the Switch, the Super Smash Brothers um, bundle, you know, Switch bundle. But even if I didn't buy that bundle, I would have bought the game digital anyway and bought the game physical because that's a game that I always just want to have on there, you know. 
Um, but thank you so much. I appreciate the $10 donation, uh, David B. Appreciate that. You guys give some love for David B. With that. All right. You guys' thoughts, comments, questions. Um, let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts, comments, questions on on, uh, on on the direct, on what you guys thought about the actual game. Um, let's see here. Uh, wait. What? Buying digital? Yeah, I'll be buying. I would probably buy this game. I'm probably going to buy this game digital. Um, probably. But we'll have to wait and see. I, I'm... I already have, I mean, it's, I think it's going to be one of those games that I want digital. Uh, so yeah, maybe, uh, very impressive. Ryan S thought of the, yeah, the, the, the story mode is what I'm most impressed with. I like the story mode, dude. Um, I never played it uh, the first game before, but this looks dope and I'm definitely going to buy the game when it comes out. Yeah. It looks way more creative. It looks way more like, it seems like you can do so much more. And the, the addition of Super Mario 3D World has made this game way better to me. This It's made this game so much better because 3D World just has that atmosphere, just has that style. I love the like the clear pipes that you can kind of like, you know, uh, go through. You guys make Super Mario 3D World levels. I want to see you guys' best Super Mario 3D World levels. That's what I want, baby. Super Mario 3D World style levels. Let's go. The competition mode, the story mode. There's so much content in this game. This content, you, you, you can, there's never going to need to be another Mario Maker until the next system, until the next Switch. I mean, this is just nuts. Uh, now I regret getting Smash Bros. Physical. No, don't regret getting Smash Bros. Physical just because I said that, Arash. Doesn't mean that you you play the same. Like, no, don't, 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 don't say that. Um, I never played the first game before, but it looks... Okay, I already read that. Uh, all right, let me see. So it, Nintendo seems to be slow rolling out their membership incentives, but it seems okay when they do it. Yeah, I mean, they still, like I said, they still have a lot of work to do, Von Henry, on when it comes to stuff. Uh, like like Rodriguez Life did say earlier, there's still a lot of stuff that they need to do. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, they're rolling out some deals for people who buy digital. So there you go. Um, they, uh, they didn't talk about Amiibo, but it could be something to talk about during E3 or Treehouse. It could be. There could be some surprises left. Um, let's see. It's one of the most content-packed Mario games. I, it might be the most content-packed Mario game. I mean, considering that you can download 5 billion levels from what people make. This is the first Mario game ever to have, from what I understand, the first Nintendo-based Mario game to have real online multiplayer. Am I, am I, am I correct with that, guys, or did I miss something? Super Mario 3D World doesn't have it. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe doesn't have it. New Super Mario Bros. This is the first one to have real online multiplayer. Am I right? It's the first. That is that is monumental. This game is going to... Dude, I, there's going to be lag, first of all. But <laughs> people with trash connections, I ain't playing with y'all. But you guys, is trash internet connection. So if you got trash internet, I ain't playing with you. But Super Mario Maker 2 is definitely going to be... A, a a system seller this is just defined man this this is this is defined it this is definitely sealed it with that the, there's a there's a freaking ranking system who who would have thought there'd be a freaking ranking system there is a ranking system in mario in super mario maker 2 there is a single player where there's side missions where you get money to expand your world what the hell are you serious i did not expect that that was the two biggest shocks of it for me was story mode well, I, I mean, they had courses before. I thought they were going to do some type of lame courses, but to where you're actually Mario in his builder suit and you're getting objectives and you're building an area, that's dope. I think there and there's a hundred courses. There's a hundred freaking courses for you to go to, crafted by Nintendo's treehouse and Nintendo's development teams. That is freaking sick. That might be the sickest thing. And then the online play. I don't think the online play is going to be great, guys. I'll be honest. I don't think it's going to be great. Um, there's a race mode and there is a cooperative mode. That's that's just amazing. That that's that's so cool. Um, what's good, OJ? Uh, looked a uh, pack with content. Three, some, yes, online multiplayer, great. The game looks great. Love the dry bone shell, and they confirm local wireless and co online co-op. Yes, really good. Um, does Marvel Ultimate Alliance, uh, Alliance Three get the discount? Maybe, uh, maybe Anthony. Um, I, I think so. All right, take it easy, Frank. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Thank you for the. Thank you so much for the donations today, man. I appreciate the support on the stream today. Happy Direct Wednesday, yeah, man. That Nintendo Switch Online bundle will get you ten dollars off a twelve month subscription. That's a steal. Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. So uh, if you buy Super Mario Maker digital, you know, the thing about that is that if you buy it digital, here's the thing. If you buy like the digital tokens or whatever, the vouchers, you can use that for Super Mario Maker 2. And you'll also get the Nintendo Switch online for that price. You'll get it pretty much on there. And then you'll get it for that price because of the, uh, the, for $99, or I think anyway. I'll, re I'll research more into it. But either way, they're doing some nice promotions. Although it got a little confusing at the end there. But I will make sure I'll, I'll hash it out for you guys and make sure I know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, Mario Maker Odyssey. Bruh. 
Um, if it didn't uh, make those Mario Maker 1 players box up their Wii U's, I don't know what will. Dude, the Mario Maker 1 players are already boxed. They boxed up their Wii U's a bit ago. Um, they bo they boxed them up, man. They had to box them up. They boxed them up as soon as the Direct started. As soon as they announced it, they boxed them up. Box them up, baby. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, all right. The file size should be 2.8 gigabytes. Is that what they said it's going to be? Mario Maker 2 is up there with Labo for creativity for youngsters. I'm hoping that Nintendo reveal a new design online in eShop at E3. No, they're not going to. They said that they're on, Rodrigo's life. They said that they're only going to um, talk about software. They did not say anything about um, like firmware updates and all that. So, I mean, we can hope. Let's, let's see. Let's see. But I don't think they're going to do that at E3. Um, can we do online gameplay um, as in I can sit in my bed and some co-op with randoms? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what they said that you can do. Yeah, it's online gameplay. Yeah. Um, I didn't care about this game before the direct, but seeing the new multiplayer and features mode, it looks like a day one. Yeah, it's a day one. For me, with that, the story mode and the online the online multiplayer so I can play PE Ultimate with you guys for the Elite Ninja here. You know, that's that's what really super, super, super sold me on that was the story mode, which now I can play that for, you know, regular uh, live streams for gameplay. And we can also, it's also a, a new PE Ultimate game. So, yeah, hell yeah, dude. It, it's, it's I mean, it's great, man. It's great. Uh, Quantum was 100% agree Super Mario Maker 2 def definite system. So, it will be, yeah. OG, my wallet hurts help. Well, AI, the summoning files got moved away from July, if that helps. Um, OJ, by the way, GameStop is giving free poster when you pre-order more wealth online. Okay, that's great. Um, we're talking about Super Mario Maker 2, Arash. Um, Chuba says, yep, the file size is 2.8 for Mario Maker. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't think they really had to do anything much from what they did on the Wii U. So I think that I think it's smaller. The file size is smaller than what it was on the Wii U, if I'm not correct. Um, 2.8 gigabytes, Mage, from Twitter. Uh, Nintendo has three system sellers this year, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, Mario Maker 2. And I also think that Luigi's Mansion 3 could be a system seller as well. And I also think that in, in a lesser degree, but in a, also in a somewhat good amount of degree, I think Fire Emblem I think Fire Emblem and Marvel Ultimate Alliance combined is going to sell a lot of systems. And I also think Astral Chain is going to get a lot of people to buy a Switch as well. Not as big as those other games that you mentioned, but they definitely, has, they definitely have a few uh, summer system sellers as well. That's going to help out at least. Looking forward to playing four player local with my buddies. A few beers. Yeah, that's gonna be oh my god. Oh dude, you know what you should, you should play drinking game, right? Like whoever loses, whoever gets last place. Gotta take gotta take a swig. That'd be dope. Dope. <laughs> um, I see Mario Maker 2 as a godsend for streamers. Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. I'm gonna be streaming this. I'm gonna be streaming the single player mode like crazy. Heck yeah. Um Day one free, yeah. Super Mario Maker 2 in June, Luigi's Mansion 3 later this year, along with Animal Crossing. This is going to be a huge rest of the year for Nintendo. And that's not just it. I mean, we still got Pokemon Sword and Shield. We still got Astral Chain. We still got Fire Emblem Three Houses. We still got a lot of stuff, dude. There's still a lot more games than that. Absolutely. Uh, it would be nice if you can take all your old levels from Mario Maker and put them in Mario Maker 2. Yeah, but that wouldn't work, though, because there's so many different elements in Mario Maker 2. So that wouldn't work. I think it's time to just move on from Mario, the original Mario Maker and just start start again with Mario Maker 2. So, so I mean, I don't think I don't think that's a, and that's a, that's a that's a headache when it comes to like actual coding and software wise. That's that's just a big headache that, that would probably break the game. So, I mean, they probably explored it, but they just said probably from a technical perspective, that's probably not a good idea. So I, I, I think it's a good idea that that wasn't put in. Believe it or not, addition by subtraction, if that makes any sense. Um, I just got Mario Maker 2 with Nintendo Switch Online. Um, that is a great deal. All right, well, there you go. Um, Fortnite killer. <laughs> I don't know if it's a Fortnite killer, but uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, all right, guys, you guys hit that like button. Um, I can continue to stream for about another 20 to 25 minutes. I do have to be somewhere in just a bit, which is going to be interesting, but I do have to be somewhere. So... Um, so yeah, let's let's keep on coming with these uh, thoughts and these uh, predictions or whatever the case is. What you guys think about the Mario Maker Direct? I thought it was phenomenal. I thought it was so good. That was such a good direct, dude. <laughs> like that was such a good base direct on the on one game. It was really good. Um, I, I'm even more excited now. I was already sold with the multiplayer and story mode. Uh, yeah, that same as me, same as me. Yeah, Mario Maker is gonna be all over Twitch. Oh hell yeah. Uh, Jufa says, I can see Nintendo adding new levels, themes from different Mario games as DLC. Maybe. I don't know. I think that they might just put this one out there and then call, call it a day. I think they might just do that because there's just so much content, but you never know. Uh, Michael Bryce says, I think the fact that Switch has a, such a full library now as a system seller. Um, yeah, I think so too. Um, even new cool games just being added to the, the idea of Switch to own a system. Yeah, I think that's the reason why the Switch actually sold, you know, 
17 or 16 million units for the past fiscal year despite having not as many games and per se that were bigger games than what you know like than what they had in 2017 they sold so much because people were buying all the games from last year in addition to what whatever they were adding in 2018 like smash brothers and octopath and torna and you know mario tennis and all that stuff so yeah yeah uh, absolutely uh all right take it easy alan gonzalez have fun pre-ordering uh <laughs> oj 500 plus view uh 500 plus viewers well yeah we we had that once it once it started uh, once when it was in there, so it was good. It was good. Um, the direct is a lot of lot to digest. Yeah, it's a lot to digest, especially at the end there. But yeah, there was a ton of different stuff. OJ uh, is going on a date. Uh, I'm not going. I'm not going on a date. I'm not going on a date at all. <laughs> I'm not going on a date. No date, Charity. Um, let's see. I wish, but no, I'm not. Um, Dank Meme says, I'm hyped for this game. The story mode looks great. The content seems insane, but glad they didn't uh, do the companion app. I don't know. I kind of wanted the companion app. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, $99 is a ripoff. $99 is a ripoff for what? Neko the Senpai? What's it a ripoff for? Um, do you think Mario Maker 2 will be the best selling Switch game? No, I don't think so. I think it'll be a really good selling Switch game, but I don't think it's going to be the best selling Switch game. I think that's going to be reserved for uh, Pokemon. Pokemon Sword and Shield will probably be the best selling Switch game when it's all said and done, or will be one of the best. I thought three to four things were going to get added instead of 100 things would be... Oh, well, no. Yeah, they were going to add way more than three to four things. Like, it's Super Mario Maker 2. I mean, it's been it's been four years since the original. You know they had a bunch of ideas that they wanted to put in. So, yeah, I knew they were going to add a bunch of new stuff. But I didn't think that there's going to be a real story mode, though. I didn't think that. Um, Christian Kunani says, it's a good time to get that reaction. Um, Okay, yeah, let me see, Christian. You said it's on your Twitter page? I can play Ancient Vessel, too. Let's take a look. What, what do you want me to react to? The Super Smash Brothers one? All right, let's take a look. I think you want me to react to this, right? Okay, online. Oh man, is it actually all three? Okay, let's take a look. Your Pichu. See some more, more thunder shocks into into stuff. That's what I'd like to see a little bit more. Ten million unit seller, absolutely. Yeah, ten million unit seller. Yeah. Yeah, this Sonic is rolling so much. Yeah, more thunder jolts into into uh, grabs and attacks. Nice down tilt. Back here. Oh, that's a forward smash right there. Hey, Sonic's just bad. Okay, down tilt. Another down tilt. Oh, put him in the dash attack. Nice little combo. Nair out of shield. Good. There. Oh, no, didn't punish. Oh. Pichu is too small, dude. He's very hard to hit. Pichu's very hard to hit. Do I think Super Smash Bros. will be the biggest selling game of 2019? Uh, no, because there's new games coming out that are going to sell more than Super Smash Bros. Amazon has Super Mario Maker 2 bundle with 12 months Nintendo Switch Online for $69. GameStop says it'll be their system by tomorrow. Okay, nice, Sub-Zero. Yeah, I think a lot of people are just going to get that, right? Because of the online play. I think, see, the, thing, the good thing about Nintendo Switch Online, at least it forces Nintendo to, to make online in their games. Because in the Wii U era, there were zero Mario games with online. And now we're actually getting games with online. So, if anything, it forces them to make their games have online play. I'll say that, you know? Or online features, at least. Uh, yeah, I think Matthew, I think I answered your question. 10 million unit seller. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a 10 million unit seller. Yeah, Matthew Campos. Absolutely. Yeah, 10 million unit seller. This, this guy's getting, yeah, this guy got three stocks. This Sonic is really bad, dude. Good game, though. Good game, Christian. Uh, let me go ahead and play Ancient Vessel for you, too. Yeah, that, that, that Sonic was a really bad player. <laughs> that was a really bad Sonic, dude. Um, how do you only put 74 damage or 70 something? 
How do you put? Oh, how do you not kill a P a Pichu? How do you, how do you not kill Pichu? He's like Pichu's the easiest person to freak, or Pichu's the lightest character in the game and dies the fastest. <laughs> how how is that even possible? Your wallet hurts. Need help? Yeah, man. Me too. My Pichu was way better than this. Was just uh, uh he was just bad. Yeah, he was just he was just really bad, dude. Oh, you Pichu didn't play bad, dude. I mean, you three stocked him, so I mean, you, that's that's something, right? I can get Smash and Zelda for cheap for ninety nine bucks for cheaper than ninety nine bucks. If you're talking about digital, no, you can't. Digital, they're still full price. So if you buy games digital day one, and they're talking, and this is gonna account for new games too, Neko, this up by it's not a, it's not accounting for old games. So this is accounting for new titles that are coming out with the whole voucher thing. So you do save some money on that. I, at least I think it is. But either way, the digital prices are are fifty nine ninety nine. So this is for people who buy digital. It's not a bad deal if you buy digital. If you buy digital, it's not a bad deal. Um. Uh, don't no don't don't delete comments of people that say bastard. That's not that's not bad enough to be deleted. Uh, thank me. Um, yeah, new digital games. Physical is better. You can taste the cartridges. Yeah, that's true. Player says, uh, when y'all play against each other in Smash, uh, that is not considered online play. Yeah, that is online play. That is charity. Um. <clears throat> All right. Any other questions, guys? I think Nintendo learned their lesson in uh, less than a half with the Switch. This is turning into a must-own console. It already is a mu it already turning into a must-own console. Switch already is a must-own console. Super Smash Brothers, Super Mario Odyssey, Octopad Traveler, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. I mean, like Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Like it already is a must-own console. Already is. It's it's been a must. It's been a must-own console since 2017. To be honest, bro. As soon as Xenoblade 2 dropped, pretty much that was that was the, the that was the final art that was the final nail. It needed a, a great first party RPG. And even if you wanted to say like okay Mario plus Rabbids, but they needed like a real great first party RPG. And it had that. It needed a great third party RPG. It had that. Skyrim. It needed a great first person shooter. Had that in 2017 with Doom. It needed a great strategy game. Had that with Mario plus Rabbids. It needed a great fighting game. Had that with Pokemon Tournament. And it had that with um, there's some other fighting games too. Uh, what what else came out in 2017? Um, uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, uh, Xenoverse. There you go. Xenoverse two came out then too as well. You know what I'm saying? It already became, it already was. Needed a great action adventure game. Zelda right then and there. Needed a great party game or whatever. I mean, there was all sorts of stuff uh, already on there. So it already became it already wasn't must though. Uh, I was confused because I heard y'all say that this was the first Nintendo game with online play. I I misunderstood. No, we said this is the first Mario Bros game. The first Super Mario Bros. game with online play. So, New Super Mario Bros., Mario Galaxy, all those games, none of them ever had it to where you can play with your friends at the same time online. No other Mario game had that. This is the first one, which is just absolutely blows my mind that there's online play in this game. You know? Yeah, Ultra Street Fighter 2. Yeah, Ultra Street Fighter 2. Arms. Arms. Yep, Arms. There you go. Another, another fighting game. So, yeah. Like, Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 was out in 2017, so it had shooters. It had fighting games. It had platformers, Super Mario Odyssey. It had action games. Everything, it was a must-own from 2017. I think by the end of 2017, it was pretty much a must-own. In my opinion, at least. My opinion. My opinion. Uh, not at the office, Rats trying to get digital version of that. Dude, I don't think... Necklace of Senpai. It's not a bad... Necklace of Senpai. Listen, listen. Here's the deal. The games are priced $59.99. This is not basing it off of physical games. This is basing it off of the digital prices of Nintendo's first party games. All right? So if you buy the voucher, it's $99. Normally we've seen people buy two games and it costs $120 on the eShop if they want their games digital. We're not talking about discounts that you get or deals that you find on Amazon. We're talking about digital games off the Switch eShop, which people do buy by the way. Okay? Even though it's cheaper somewhere else, people still buy it. What they're saying is that you can get two games for $99 digital. So it's an offer that wasn't there before. Do you understand? Okay, now if you don't now if you don't like digital for whatever the case the reason is, that's okay. But it's not a ripoff for people who buy their games full price digital day one. It's not a ripoff for those people. Now if you feel that digital is not good enough or I need to get it for somewhere else, okay, I get that. But this is for people who buy digital. Okay? For them, that's the price. That's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to that's what everyone's trying to tell you here in the chat. It's twenty dollars off. <clears throat> uh 
Link to Hero of Hyrule says, there was an empty space next to the Mario uh, 3D World extra game styles. Odyssey game style coming, capturing with enemy with unique puzzles. Maybe, but I don't know. I think they would have announced it there, wouldn't they? Because they want people to pre-order. So that seemed to me like a Super Smash Brothers type of thing, right? Remember Super Smash Brothers where they literally announced everything? Um, I guess there was like the 3.0 update where they had more, but that, that they talked about that later, you know? But it seems like they pretty much announced everything that was going to be in the game, or almost everything. So that reminded me of the Super Smash Brothers Nintendo or direct where they the second one no the third one <laughs> not the one that e3 not the one that was after it but the third one it reminded me of that one because that was the one where they said okay start pre-ordering start preloading so i think they pretty much announced everything that was going to be in it at launch maybe later down the line maybe there's some new stuff that they added but i don't think it's going to be there at launch um Or well, they can have it at the Invitational. Maybe, but I just don't think they're... I think they pretty much let everybody know what was going to be in the game. I think I, I don't think there's going to be anything else. But, well, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. What was that Famicom logo? I have no idea what that Famicom logo was about. I have no idea. I thought they are going to announce some, like, Famicom controllers or something like that. I have no idea what that Famicom popped up. That Famicom logo popped up. I have no idea why or where, why it popped up at all. Um... So, yeah, I have no idea. Twenty dollars off to, two digital games that are most likely not go on sale via the eShop. It's it's very. They, sometimes they, they've had blockbuster sales, right, where you get like some of the bigger games for a discount. But yeah, they're usually just they don't ever go on sale. Uh, all right, take it easy, Rodriguez. Life, thanks. Uh, thanks for coming out to the stream, man. See you next time. Um, well, they can. Um, okay, you guys already talked about that. All right. Any other questions, guys, on uh, this whole thing? Uh, that was crazy. I want to get some of the, rea maybe we should get some of the reactions on Twitter. So Super Mario Maker is getting a stylus in Japan and in Europe, but I don't know, is, 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 is the West getting a stylus? <laughs> Guess you're going to have to import a stylus. What's going on here? Make a tweet real quick. Yeah, but it seems like Japan is getting a stylus. Europe is getting a stylus. Why aren't we getting a stylus? It's like esports. We're going to have races against each other. Elite Ninja, be ready to race in Super Mario Maker 2. Be ready to race. Uh, thoughts on no um, thoughts on no voice chat in the game? I'm going to have voice chat in the game all the time with, with Discord. So I don't care. To be honest, I honestly don't care. Because I, I'm going to have voice chat. Anytime that I want voice chat in, in, in my games, I get voice chat. So I don't care about no voice chat. <laughs> to be honest, because voice chat is very simple for me. Not you guys, but just my own opinion. Voice chat is very simple for me to add to a game. And I don't want to voice chat with random Mario Mario people. Like if I'm playing, I'm never going to play against randoms online in Mario. I don't think I'm ever going to play against randoms online in Mario. Uh, but for me, and my like I I got a I got a village of people that we play that we play with and if I want to have voice chat, I have voice chat in any game that I want. And I don't want, I don't want to talk to randoms cuz talking to random people is stupid. So, so yeah, there you go. That that's my opinion. My opinion, don't kill me over it. If you think differently, that's fine. I'm not disagreeing with you guys, but that's my opinion. I don't care about talking to random people in video games. I don't want to talk to random people. Um, and I have, like I said, I, I use Discord for voice chat. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, places the eligible games on Nintendo published. Okay, let's take a look. So the eligible games are... These are all the eligible games for the voucher. Super Mario Maker 2, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, 1-2 Switch, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, 
Arms, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Splatoon 2, Super Mario Odyssey, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Kirby, Sushi Striker, Bayonetta 2, um, Mario Tennis Aces, Pokemon Let's Go, Super Mario Party, um, Fire Emblem Warriors, Yoshi's Crafted World, so there's new games in there. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, Super Mario Deluxe, Pokemon Tournament, Octopath Traveler. That's a great way to get Octopath Traveler if you haven't got that's a good that's that's a good digital game to get. I have a digital version of Octopath Traveler. Um Fitness Boxing, Dragon Quest, the original Dragon Quest Builders, interesting. The World Ends With You and Go Vacation. So those are the games there that are eligible right now with the voucher. So there you go. <clears throat> Lee Person says, How dare you have an opinion? People get real salty over my opinion when it comes to online like voice chat and stuff like that. And I understand why people some people can get salty about it. Um I agree that they need to add it would be great if they added it in there and they have it standard and it's through the system and all that, but like this has become a broken record. It's not in there. It, even if they use the app, people would just be pissed that they use the app. So, I mean, like, it's just Discord up, and there you go. There's your voice chat. Um, can't wait to hear everybody um, talk about this on the Spawncast. Yeah. Um, it, it is. I mean, Discord's fine at this point, but, I mean, I understand. Like I said, I understand, and I definitely think that Nintendo should add a normal voice chat for people that don't. Because not everybody has. People just want to be able to... I connect a con like connect a headset to their controller and just have the voice chat. Like it should be just be that simple. But Nintendo, obviously, at this point, it's pretty clear that they don't want you to do. It's not even like a they don't know how or they need help. They just don't want you to. Do. It's they don't want it for whatever reason. It's a dumb reason. I think it's kind of silly. Uh, but it's just it's pretty it's pretty obvious at this point that they don't want to do it that way. It's pretty obvious. Um, who was the Mario Maker fan among the Spawncast? Um. I think probably the biggest Mario Maker fan would be like maybe uh, none of us are really Mario Maker fans, like hardcore Mario Maker fans. Um, I know uh, Bob from Wolf Den. He comes on the Spawncast every now and then. He's the biggest Mario Maker fan out of everybody that's been on the Spawncast that I know of. I'd say Wolf Den, but he's not a normal member of the Spawncast though. But Wolf Den, whoever's been on the Spawncast, he's the biggest. He's the biggest uh, Mario Maker dude that's been on the Spawncast, from what I understand. But he's not a member. He's not a regular member. Yo, Dustin G with a $20 donation. Thank you so much, Dustin, through Super Chat. Would have been a Toby Blaster, but Super Chat. But that's okay. She can Zelda still looking upon you, my boy. And he says, what's up, OJ? My sister has a wedding this weekend. I just want you to know I practice Smash at work, and I think I put up a better, I think I'll put up a better fight next time. Could you uh, potentially host a Salmon Run PE Arena? Uh, I'm a professional 400. Yeah, absolutely. Salmon Run um, and Splatoon 2. It's coming back. It's coming back. We're definitely going to be doing that. Um, I got to figure a couple things out here, guys. And like I said, I will have a PE uh, arena or PE ultimate uh, schedule for you guys. But I, I have a couple things that I got to do before I can get that done. Uh, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> so you're not saving anything if you're getting two forty forty nine ninety nine games. Um, I think you can use that towards a Nintendo Switch online from what I understand. But no, that's online membership. So if you get two forty nine ninety nine games, yeah, that, there's no point in getting two forty nine ninety nine games because then you're not you're not really you're not really saving because the the voucher costs ninety nine dollars. So yeah, there's no point in getting two forty nine ninety nine games because then, but although, I don't know what maybe they give you that in credit. I'm not really sure what the extra thing is. Um, but if you have a voucher, you might get that in eShop credit left over. You might. You might get the rest of it in eShop credit. But yeah, it doesn't. you don't really save anything that way. So it's better to use them on the bigger games. Let me see here. Do what you like. You can use them in digital versions. You can read them both the way. Yeah, because it says here... Um, here, let me, go, let me go over to the... Let me go over to the uh, reaction. Reaction. So you guys can see was exclusively, exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. New offers will be added, so be sure to check back regularly. So they actually have a page here for special offers now, so that's good. Um, save up to $19.99 on two games with Nintendo Switch game vouchers. Fans with paid Nintendo Switch Online membership can, can purchase a pair of Nintendo Switch game vouchers for just $99 through July 31st, 2019. You can redeem the vouchers for digital versions of select Nintendo games on Nintendo.com, which we went over, or eShop on your system. Um, hold up. You can redeem the game... For digital versions of SelectNintendo.com or eShop on your system, okay? Vouchers are valid for a year after you purchase. 
so you can use one voucher now and save another for an upcoming title or redeem them both right away so yeah there you go um so even so upcoming games will be added in those aren't the only games that will be added upcoming games will be added in as well so you can save it for maybe like astral chain is going to be on there you can save it for that or you can save it for um pokemon or you can save it for something else you know they last for a year so there you go so pretty much all the games that are coming out this year you can save one for for it so there you go um let's see here uh is it a is it a, a tony blaster down lol no dustin g <laughs> No, 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 no. It's a it's a Toby Blaster. Toby Blaster. Toby Blaster. When you use Streamlabs instead of Super Chat, it's a Toby Blaster because Super Chat doesn't have as many options for me to do. So it's a Toby Blaster with where the you know the animation comes up. What the hell? Where did wait a minute. Where did the rest of where did the rest of my Okay, there you go. There it is. I was like, what the hell? Where's the rest of my um my my stuff um, <laughs> when i actually when somebody actually does 20 through the stream labs it's a toby blast where you get the animation and everything like that because stream labs is a bit different than super chat so there you go not a tony blaster we like tony here whoever if, if your name is actually tony no we're not trying to blast you here in the chat so no <laughs> but thank you for the 22 dollar donation man i appreciate that uh shout outs to your sister congratulations to her on the wedding and everything like that um it's always cool getting married and everything you know so congrat tell her my uh congratulations so shout outs there man um do you always have to get two games with the vouchers even if you even if you use one no you can save it from i literally just explained that if you have one voucher you can use the game for one voucher and then you can save it for another game so I don't know what else that you're asking for. What else? Why else? You, you, it's two. You can get two vouchers, and it's pretty much a game voucher. You use one for one game, and then you use one for the other game because you get two vouchers. You know, um, one voucher lasts one year. You can save them and use them on whatever game that you want that's included in the game voucher program, and they last for one year. Basically, you save twenty. You save twenty bucks if you buy games digital. You save twenty dollars on. Um, you save twenty dollars on on the games. Basically, that's what it comes down. So if you buy Super Smash Brothers, which is still twenty, which is still 50, sixty bucks, and you want Super Mario Maker two, let's say you want to get Super Mario Maker two and Super Smash Brothers, you'll save twenty dollars if you buy those games digital. Which are those games are good digital, to be honest, because those are games you're probably going to be going back to forever. Um, so there you go. Uh, two x sixty dollar games with the game, game voucher. Pony, but no, it's not. It's not a pony blaster. No, shout outs. We like Sony fans. We like <laughs> pony blaster. Gamesplain just made a video on what I was talking about. The empty space thing next to the three D three D world. Okay, gotcha. Uh, do you always have to get? Okay, I already read that. Um, pony blaster. It's a good business decision. Nintendo makes way more money digital than physical. Yeah, I mean. They said that they're going to offer more digital, like, rewards and stuff like that. So, I mean, you got to do something to entice people to get the Nintendo Switch online. So, it makes sense. I mean, like I said, if you're a digital person, then obviously, you know, that's something that it's, you know, that's really good for digital. The problem with doing it physical is that, like, retailers, like, the retailer, I mean, it's like retailers wouldn't want that, obviously. That, that doesn't work for them. So, there you go. Uh, this Mario game is, is monumentally important for Nintendo, in my humble opinion. The sequel feels 1990s-esque. If you catch my drift, I have no complaints. Yeah, it looks... It, it, this Mario game seems like the best Mar This seems like a real... Like, hold up. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> this seems like not a... Oh my god, again. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Three. This seems like a real next Mario game. When people are asking, where's New Super Mario Bros. 2? It's like, why even have New Super Mario Bros. 2? You know? Oh, wait, we already have New Super Mario Bros. 2. New Super Mario Bros three or whatever why even have that when you have this there's no point in making new super mario new super mario bros is dead this is the death of new super mario bros in my opinion there's no need to have new super mario bros anymore because this is way better what we've seen here absolutely destroys new super mario bros in every single way why does have 80 to 100 levels from nintendo when you can have 100 levels from nintendo and hundred and millions of levels or thousands hundreds of thousands of levels from everybody oh and online play oh and co-op and all the stuff that you would have hoped 
That would have been the new Super Mario Bros. series. This absolutely killed Nintendo. Somewhat finesse some people out there with that new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And then they announced this thing. This is a new Super Mario Bros. killer. This, this is a killer. I've uh, been waiting for 3D World on... Yeah, dude, 3D... This, no offense to 3D World. 3D World's great, but this seems to me like... This might be the first time where I actually say a 2D Mario game is better than a 3D Mario game. This this game looks to be better than Super Mario 3D World, in my opinion. It looks to be. Now, we have to wait and see, obviously, playing it, but this looks to be a bit better than 3D World because this has online play. This has a story mode. This has, uh, you know, this you can play with your friends in, in, in ranked co-op. This has the local play. This seems to be a bit better. And you can get the difficulty in there. There's the, I mean, this this is looking pretty good, man. This is looking, this this is the first time that I've actually said a 2D Mario game looks better than a 3D Mario game, in my opinion. I've never said, and I never even said that about Mario Maker, okay? So I did not say that about the original Mario Maker. I didn't say Mario Maker looks better than 3D World. I said, mm, like, when I saw Mario Maker, I was like, I think I still like 3D World more. But the new additions to this game the first time ever for multiple, I mean, you have competitive and non-competitive co-op modes in there. That's a game changer. That is a game, no matter what anybody says, that's a game changer. I didn't think online play was possible with with these type of things, with, with this, with, you know, and it's going to lag, guys. Let's just be real here. This is not going to be precision platforming, you know, so I can understand why Nintendo hasn't had it. But the fact that it's in here and nobody really was saying, oh, well, yeah, there's like 100%. Some people were saying like, or maybe they're just going to be like some little co-op, you know, maybe two players on, you know, whatever. But they have like four full players or four players in there. This is this is a game changer, man. This is a revolutionary Mario game. Like, I'm probably going to do a video on it, you know, talking about it more. But this is literally a revolutionary Mario game. There's nothing else like it, you know. Super Mario 3D World is great. And there's a lot of great things about Super Mario 3D World that, that I love that game. But it is it, is it has it done something that no other mario game has done outside of certain items and stuff this is actually doing things functionally that's been in no other mario game ever official mario game so so yeah man the lag is going to kill this game due to the platforming well there's people with good connections though so yeah if you're out there playing with with you know hillbilly internet 101 you know what i'm saying like then yeah you're gonna have that but if you're playing with friends that you know have good internet connection then the lag won't kill the game you know so <laughs> that's the thing. Um, how long till you got to leave? Yeah, I've got maybe about another uh, five to ten minutes, guys. Five to ten minutes. Um, let's see. I have damn good Wi-Fi. Play with me. Oh, well, yeah, Frank, we're going to be doing. I'm fully on board with PE, PE Ultimate Super Mario Maker. This was a damn good direct, man. This was this convinced so many people go on Twitter. This convinced so many people to buy it. That, dude, freaking story mode. What is this? What is this? Nintendo went all out. But they had, remember, guys, they had four years to make this. So while it's impressive and everything, remember, Mario Maker came out four years ago. So just keep that in mind. Mario Maker did come out four years ago. And they've probably been working on this since, like, very shortly after Mario Maker 1 came out. They probably were working on this. Because there was no real DLC for Mario Maker. Like, real DLC for Mario Maker. So they've probably been working on this for a good solid four, three to four years, you know? Maybe they took a year off or whatever the case was. And then they came back to it after they did their launch titles. But, like, they've been working on this for a while. Obviously, this game, it, I think it's a somewhat of a nightmare when it comes to the game not breaking. And making sure that there's no glitches and bugs. Because this is the type of game where you, like, you kind of dread because it can break at any point because there's so many enemies on screen, a lot of different stuff going on, giving people creation tools. This is the type of game that you really need to Q&A test that makes sure nothing breaks because this is exactly the type of game that would break when you're Q&A testing. So I'm pretty sure they've been testing and they've been doing this game for a long time, you know? Story mode is so weird for a concept for a platformer. Is it? All lots of platformers have story mode. What do you what are you talking about? <laughs> All the Mario games have story mode. They're all, all the Mario platformers have a story. The, the single player is the story mode. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> how, is that a, how is that a weird concept for, for a platform? All platformers have story mode. That's literally what they are. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> not a real story mode? No, that's not. I don't know what platformers you're playing, but Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter... All the Mario games, most of them have story modes built into there. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Uh, 
No, that's that's not a weird concept for a platformer at all. It's actually very common and normal for platformers to have stories. Uh, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, believe it or not. Believe it or not. It's very common for platformers to have stories. Yeah, believe it or not. Uh, Princess in Another Castle isn't what I what I call story. Well, that's not the point. You just said this was your thing. You said story mode is a weird concept for a plat for a platformer. That's what you just said. Story mode is a weird concept for a platformer. No, it's not. Because I just named a bunch of platformers outside of Mario games that have story modes. Now, if you said story mode for an, a Mario game is a weird concept, then okay. But the story mode in this game, we don't know how in-depth or how much story is actually going to be in there outside of what they just said. You know what I'm saying? So, no matter what way you cut it, Philip, you're wrong. <laughs> No matter what way you cut it, you're, you're wrong because your original statement was story mode is a weird concept for a platformer. You didn't sing. You just said for a platformer, the type of game, right? And I just mentioned to you a bunch of platformers that have story modes. And then you singled out Mario, even though your original statement was platformer in general. You didn't say Mario or this game. Like you didn't single it out. You just said platformer. And I said, no, that's not that's not the case. Literally every single platformer I've played has some type of story mode. It's not weird at all. And yes, your princess is in another castle. That is a story. Believe it or not, that's a story. It's still a story mode. It's still a single player story mode. So it's not a weird concept at all. It's actually very normal and it happens quite a quite a bit. And even in like Mario Galaxy, for example, there were story, there were actually picture book story modes in there. Super Mario Odyssey has a story as well. I mean, there's stories in all these Mario games. How in depth they are compared to the other games, that's debatable in terms of things, in terms of how much story there is. But it's not a weird concept for a platform to have a story at all. So, so yeah. Um, platforms have always had stories. <laughs> I don't, I don't get that. Crash Bandicoot has a story mode. Uh, Sly Cooper has a story. I mean, there's there, literally, there's so many platformers with stories. I mean, it's not even funny. Um, did I miss the video? You did. How is that a weird concept? They've been doing that since gaming started. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think he meant. I think he meant. He originally meant. I think he meant to say Mario. Um, after he realized what he said was wrong, <laughs> I think he meant to say Mario. Um, that's what he meant to say, but his original statement said platform, uh, it's weird for platformers to have a story, which is uh, false, you know, um, but it's okay. I think it's all good. It's his opinion, opinions, right? Um, all right. So let's see here. It's, it's, it's more story. Let's see here. Okay. Well, that's your opinion. It's still a story though. Even if you don't consider it a story, it's still a story. And to be honest, it didn't seem like there was much text or anything in the story mode for, for this game as well. So it doesn't seem like this game is going to have like a freaking epic story, but I don't think you understand what the story means, but okay. If you feel that way, fine by you. Um, the Nintendo eShop um, also has uh, a list for any games they plan to add for Game Voucher. So far, the US is only Astral Chain and Fire Emblem. Marvel's up for the future. Okay, nice. Okay, so you're going to be able to, if you buy those vouchers, guys, if you buy digital, you're going to be able to get Fire Emblem, um, Fire Emblem and Marvel or Fire Emblem Astral Chain, or any of those combinations. So that's actually that's actually a damn good deal. Because Fire Emblem is a game that, that's actually a pretty damn good digital game. And uh, Marvel is a good digital game as well, since you can just go back to it. Um, if you like to buy games digital. that's it. I'm buying Astral Chain digital. I'm buying Fire Emblem digital. So I'm probably going to buy these vouchers so I can get those, I can get some money off. But I'm buying those games physical too. I have a special edition physical coming in, but I don't want to open the special edition and like actually use the cartridge. I don't want any of that. And I want to have Fire Emblem on both of my Switches. So I'm getting Astral Chain and I'm getting Fire Emblem Digital. So for me, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that because that gets me a discount on Astral Chain and, and Fire Emblem. So yeah, I'm gonna get it. Um, dude, we ain't talking about Star Fox Grand Prix. Um, all right, guys, we're gonna go ahead after. We're gonna go ahead and end it right here. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the stream. I do appreciate it. Uh, please make sure you, before all of you guys leave because we do have a number of people in here. I will be back later tonight. I will be back later tonight with the PE Nightcap where, where we'll be talking more about what's going on here with all of this. But please make sure you guys check out my latest video on um, on God Eater. God Eater is getting a demo. Um, and we have the first gameplay footage of God Eater 3 on the Nintendo Switch. Um, and we also have new information on Fire Emblem. So please make sure you guys check out my video. It's a good video. That already has nearly over 3,000 views. So that's pretty good. So over 3,000 views on that. Make sure you guys check that out if you haven't already done so. 
Uh, we will be back later tonight with the nightcap, I'm pretty sure, unless something goes wrong. But we'll be back with the nightcap. And then we will have uh, a video for you guys tomorrow morning. And then, of course, we'll be uh, doing more Super Mario Maker. We'll be talking about Super Mario Maker tonight and all that. So if you want to get more of your thoughts, no problem there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do. Oh, hold up. Frank says, do you think the Amiibo support could be at E3? It could be, but I don't know. I think Nintendo's kind of done with Amiibo. Uh, like 100% like in every single game. But there could be some Amiibo support. Yes, there could be. But we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, we will see you guys uh, for the next one later tonight. Probably like around maybe like 6, 6, 30, 7. So in a couple, a few hours. And I'll see you guys at the nightcap tonight. All right, guys. Peace.